podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're listening to the voice of the people. Let's get ready for Boxing Voice. De mis raíces yo no voy a olvidarme. Soy de una raza tan humilde y tan grande. Boxingvoice.com. What broke him down? Was it just the body punching? Punch. I was hitting him with body punching. I heard him actually he was crying in there. You're saying that Big was crying when yeah. you hit him? Yeah. When, when did that happen? And perhaps the fourth round on. Boxingvoice.com. So that you knew you had him by that Absolutely, time. Absolutely, but I knew he was, he was cuffing and taking those punches. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another edition of the Dominican Voice. I mean, the Boxing Voice. What's going on? We got one. Yo, it's been a minute. Damn, congratulations to Jenison Rosario. I was going to do a morning after, uh, but I was talking to Rosario, man, and, uh, you know, he was on his way to from Philadelphia to Miami, from Miami to DR. He gets there tonight. So he's like, yo, manin de lo mío, que lo que? Espérate mañana. And I'm like, yo, you got it. We could do it tomorrow. It's all good. So we're going to have him on the show tomorrow, man. Shout out Samson Lewickovich. Loving the kid, man. That's a bond I grew with him many years ago. I hit that dude up at 429 yesterday. Like, yo, Samson, I know it's late, but I need that number. Damn, what a fight. Oh, my God. So much to talk about. A lot of and the new hashtags running around. Jenison Rosario. Shout out Chris Colbert. Uh, a lot of fights to talk about. Alvarez. Oh, my God. Yo, Dominicans taking over yesterday. Salute Johan Guzman. Salute Abraham Supernova. Salute Jenison Rosario. The takeover was in full fucking effect last and i'm just saying I'm, I'm a little excited but anyway we got a lot to talk about you already know i'm heading out to michael gross the boss in indiana you know the number to call in if you want to express yourself you know maybe voice your opinion let us know how you feel about what took place last night you know the number to call in one four two five five six nine fifty two forty one press one one time like keith thurman the voice of your opinion right here on the voice of the people hotline i speak it Believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. Speak it, believe it, receive it. I can't say it enough. I speak it, believe it, receive it. Attempt, two attempts, handed bands over. Sicko hit, shot and missed. Two to stand over. Bread winner, huh? Look who in the building. Le- let me check my Instagram. I might be at a million. And I'm in. 
Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up, and shout out to everybody out there in the TBB universe, back with another one, man, oh, man, oh, man, what a, hey, god damn, a shocker, shocker, yes, and Rosario defeats Julian Williams by stoppage, man, I knew when we landed that foot, like, damn, Julian hurt, he hurt, he hurt, and he never really recovered, also, we had, we had, um, a leader, Alvarez, with a, oh, my god, a shot from out of nowhere, it's talking about, uh, 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 buzzer beater, Man, he caught that man with a shot at the end, end of the seventh round that put him down. Also, we got the showbox card on Friday night, and we got Mayweather coming out with two different posters, man. Like, want to fight McGregor and Khabib? Like, I don't know what's going on, but Dana White says we are definitely, definitely working working together this year. And he, he has Mayweather and his plan, so a lot to talk about. We'll break it down and get into it. What's going on, Mr. Gibbs? Well, we don't believe you. You need more people. Tell me where to stop lying, man. He out here straight. Yo, why he always clout chasing? He can't see a motherfucker doing anything without coming to, 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 to ruin their parade. I swear. Every time somebody announces something, he fake announcing something, but nothing ever happens. I'm so tired of Mayweather, bro. You know what I mean? Um, But whatever, man. Let's talk about PBC. And uh, Jenison, people mad as hell at me because I'm I'm giving respect to Jenison. Like, yo, you don't gotta ride with him. See, that's what y'all don't get. That's what that's what Mexicans do. They ain't out here cheering for every goddamn Mexican, but when they win, they get behind them. When they go to fight, they support. That's how it is, bro. I'm not going. I'm not going to not get behind my man's in them. You know what I'm saying? You know who did it. Dominican power, baby. Platano power. The banana on, on Instagram. What you saying? Now, nah, listen, um, bro, I'm shocked. Uh, Julian's my guy. I thought this was not going to happen. I thought uh, it would be an easy win for Julian. But right off the bat, homie is big as hell. He was tall. He was big. And he was obviously very strong, man. Um. Look, bro, I don't see nothing, like, out of this world. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know Earl Spence came out like, damn, Rosario could fight. But I think that's more dog is what we've seen. Like, I still think Julian Williams is the the more technical fighter. Um, I mean, you know, Rosario just hit him with with, with some shit he couldn't recover from. Um, interested to see what happens now, man. I mean, he he's right back to DR. You know, that's never a good thing in my eyes. I was hoping he was going to stay out here. He was getting that good old spawn with Demetrius Andre in Miami at the Fifth Street Gym. I, I was just like hoping he did not live in the Dominican Republic. But uh, after my conversation with him this morning, he truly lives out there. So we just got to we got to we got to hope for the best, man. You know what I'll say, though? What we didn't know Friday, Mike, and it would have changed every fucking thing. How highly do I speak of Samson Lewickovic? Did we know this dude was a Samson fighter on Friday or Saturday, Thursday? I wish she would have told me he was training with, with Demetrius Andre. Bruh, I ain't even know he was fucking with Samson till I seen Samson walk him in the room. I'm like, no! I swear to God, right then and there, I started getting that eerie feeling like something could happen. Because, J- yo, Samson don't got no bums, man. Nah. You know, he ain't got no bums. At- I was looking at this guy, man. Like I, I wanted to pick him all week, but you I ain't put no looking. money on him because I know you stay betting. No, nothing. I did, nothing. I didn't. Damn, I, bro. Jorge Coda got a draw. I mean, uh, bro. But, but we'll, then I we'll tell y'all him. that we'll I told him. We'll y'all him. that, man. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to him. Uh, but yes, I feel so I, bad. Y'all was watching that foul. Mo- Yo, <laughs> nah, honestly, bro. The first round looked like it was the twelfth round, bro. Bloody. I can't believe Bless it, man. man. That was a but crazy yeah, man, fight. Um, yes, and man, like, I, I wanted to pick him, but I was just like, man, this guy got beat by Nathan, got night sweats, got stopped, but he didn't get like knocked out. So I, I didn't really, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think I seen that fight, but I'm not sure uh, uh, if I re- remember it. But yeah, man, yes, and came out, man, and it was evident from the bell. This guy, like 6'2, 6'3. God damn, he big as hell. 
And once I realized that he could take a, a shot from Julian Williams, he, did, he took his right hand in the second round, and then he took Williams' best punch in the third round and just ate it like it was nothing and kept on coming forward. He was uh, a, a tough guy coming forward, man. Like, his, his his output was good, too. had a nice stiff jab. And when they was on the, those ropes and he caught Julian with that left hook, it was all she wrote, man. Julian never, never uh, recovered, man. And uh, it was evident from the, the, the first round. Like, Julian had a mark, big-ass mark on, on his face after the first round. I'm like, damn, did Justin Kitchen with a strong jabber or something like that or whatever it was? Nah, he got cut. He got cut early, man. He got cut early in that fight. Um, I, um, So... Williams is saying he wants the rematch, and he had a rematch clause is what the reporters are saying. My question to you is, aren't the sanctioning bodies going to get tired because there's been so many rematches? Like, the belt's been exchanged, and no one's gotten to, you know, like, these used to be Jared Hurd's belts. He didn't face a mandatory. He fought Williams. Williams beats him. Then it was a rematch. The rematch doesn't happen. Now it's Jenison. Now there's another rematch. Plus, Jared Hurd had a rematch. It's like, does those does Jared Hurd's rematch even still exist now that this guy lost because his rematch clause was with Williams? Like, Williams has to get the belt back for Jared's rematch to even exist, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I don't... I know he, he, he came out last night and said he had a rematch clause, but I'm kind of skeptical about that. You know what I'm saying? It's... It's a voluntary. I don't know if uh, if um, if they really thought that they were, were going to lose, you know what I'm saying, or they thought they were at high risk. Uh, but if he does have one, then I think Jerry Hurt has to fall back in line and just wait till uh, uh, this plays out and uh, fight the winner of the next fight. But if, yeah, man, the the, the sanctions body should be getting kind of mad because the number one contender, I don't know who it is in the uh, um, uh, IBF and I believe WBA, they're Probably about ready, you know what I'm saying, to call their um, the mandatory. So we got to look at the IBF in, in particular because we know they don't play about the mandatory, you know what I'm saying. If they call it, you know what I'm saying, you pretty much got to go with it. But uh, if he has a rematch clause against Yesen, uh, I would like to see it. I don't know where it would be at. I doubt Yesen would, would want to go back to Philly to fight uh, J Rock. But man, yeah, man, hats off to Yesen last night, man. He really showed me that he had a lot of dog, could, could take a punch, and. Um, was in great shape, man. Like he really, really showed some power last night. I didn't know he had that kind of power. And I know the internet is going crazy. Oh, Julian always been chinning, you know what I'm saying? He got caught by Charlo, and now he got caught by Yes. And I don't know, man. I, don't, I think sometimes it's not a, a, the, the case of a guy being chinning. It's just a case of a guy landing good-ass shots. And that, that uppercut from, from Charlo was a great shot. And that left hook last night, again, was a beautiful shot by Yes. Yeah, man. So I think that Jarrett Hurd doesn't get his rematch if Williams can't win because the contract is with Williams and Hurd. You, Hurd can't exercise a rematch with Jenison because the rematch is never with the belts. The belts belong to the sanctioning bodies. That's why they call their mandatories. The rematch is with the fighter. You know what I mean? That's why I like... When when Eddie was doing the rematch with, 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 with Ruiz, he's like, yo, we got to hurry up because of the sanctioning bodies. I'm just, I, I think Hurd is out in the cold right now unless Williams could get the win. Um, that being said, what do you imagine um, would be the timeline when you think this actually happens? The rematch? Yes. Oh, today's January, so I'm looking February, March, April, maybe April, May, run at run at time. You know what I'm saying? You put it on, on a maybe uh, if if it's a big fight going on that that round like May or, or April, like a Pacquiao fight, maybe uh, this can be the co-main event. You know what I'm saying? Something something like that. I doubt uh, they put it back in uh in Philly, and I doubt they put it in the yard. You know what I'm saying? So I would I would look. To see this fight probably in April or May, it it be chief support to a maybe Pacquiao fight or maybe even the return of Earl Spence. Mm. Yeah, man. Uh, very, very, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, shout out to Jenison, man. Life changed. Third world country. 
crazy. Life changed right now. Um, and, and that's another thing that I always think of too, man. Like once these guys get that shot, man, like a shot at, at pretty much, you know it's going to be millions and millions of dollars if, if you win this fight, you know what I'm saying? You know, even if you just get a uh, a, a, a rematch, they got to pay you. So you know that your opportunity and you're on Fox on on a channel that's going to be covered by probably millions of people watching last night. So it's just like when, once you get that, that kind of opportunity and you cash in on it, man, and, and talking about being up for the moment. A lot of guys get their sh- uh, shot and they ain't up for the moment. And Rosario was up for the moment last night, man, and cashed in on it. Sure did. <clears throat> sure did, bro. I was proud Shout out him, to man. Julian Williams, man. Uh, that you know, he said, you know, he's been there before. He'll bounce back, and uh, I'm sure he would. You know, I'm sure he will because we didn't think he was gonna be heard. We thought he was, you know, not done, but like we ain't know he was gonna be unified. You know what I'm saying? But he was saying all the right things though. Like I'm not overlooking this guy. I'm not gonna pull a Jerry Hurd and have a letdown in my home city and all this kind of shit. Like, but he was saying all the right things. Like, I mean. Know, Those man. words might come back to haunt him. Those words might be what doesn't allow him to come back because he said all that. I ain't even know he said all that. Um, for me, it was just more like, you know, he lost. He says he's coming back. I ain't know he said he wasn't overlooking and he wasn't going through a Jared Hurd. <laughs> My nigga said, I'm going to peel this banana. You know oh, I saying? seen like, that. I seen yeah, that. Yeah, I he, see, he, he, well, he actually, he said, I'm going to peel his banana. And that's when I was like, whoa, what's he, up with yo, that? Well, but yeah, um, I didn't want to put it like that, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I kind of want to edit it for him, but it is what it is. Yeah, man. But uh, look, I mean, shit happens, bro. Shit happens, you know. Uh, the the good thing Wait, is, quick, hold on, man. Shout out to Philly. Philly come out and support they own Danny Garcia, Gilly the Kid, Bernard Hopkins. Uh, who else was in the crowd, man? A lot of Philly people was out, out there last night supporting uh, uh, of uh, J Rock. So big ups to Philly, man. And Wallow too. Big ups to Wallow. He was in the crowd. Yeah, man. Um, they definitely was there. I was I was happy to see B Hop because you know that's 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 Golden Boy. So that was good. Um, if you B Hop, man, you like God damn boy. Back to back week, man. Goddamn, Philly can't get your break. Goddamn, Joe Smith now Julian Williams. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Jesse Hart now Julian Williams. Yeah. Hey, look, at least he made it to the shirt. You know what I mean? He was one of them champs. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he's there. That's history. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's all good. What this is, he got to look at it like this. This is another payday. This is another payday. You know? Um, because he going to have to rematch him, and it's another big fight. And if he could get them belts... The, the 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 movie continues. If not, it's Jenison's story that begins from there. Just like Ruiz, you know what I mean? It's it's look, yo, this is the first upset of twenty twenty, right? My man was, I mean, first big upset of a champion year. You know what I'm saying? I guess Joe Smith was, was like a four hundred, but this guy right here, the betting lines had my man on money line like uh uh what was it a thousand something like plus twelve hundred on money line. Like they didn't think this guy was gonna win at all, so shit. Bro, I just wish Big I would have had I would I wish I'd have had some faith in my man. Man, my man, what's called uh uh I, I believe Carlito or, or Caesar put some money on him last night, man. And from Vegas, these, Caesar from Vegas? I believe one of them guys was on my live stream to my man, yeah, yeah, Rosario Dominico, Dominic. Oh, you were going man. crazy on that bitch. Bro, that shit was crazy. Whoever live in New Jersey, and, matter of fact, that, that's who it was. Whoever call from New Jersey all the time to the show, I guess he's uh, a Dominican or something. He always call in. I can't think of his name right now. Me neither, but I will say that, it, it, yo, Julian takes an ugly punch. I, can't, I ain't going to say he can't take a punch. I'm going to say he takes an ugly like It's like he, 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 he comes apart after the shot. Even... In the break, the ref kind of gave him some time, and he just put the earmuffs on, and Rosario was able to break right through the earmuffs. Like, he had nothing on it on the strength level in terms of, like, yo, yeah, I'm, you better be. I am the reason. Come on, bro. Don't get mad at me now. One Dominican in, 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 in 10 years. Like, stop it. 
Stop it. Talking about that's the reason I ain't bet on Rosario. Get the fuck yeah, out of here. Nigga, you here. I but, keep on going. In the back of my head, my nigga, that's it, man. The Dominican niggas ain't coming bruh, to play, man. Look, 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 look. Yesterday, only one that, that um, looked flawless was Supernova. Even even Yoan. You ain't watched Top Rank? Man, it was man. Nigga Connor was fighting last night, bro. Oh, no. This was the undercard stream. I watched uh, Big Baby. Uh, the the heavyweight big baby, and I watched a uh, uh, Victor uh, the Bisbal? low blow king, low blow king. Like Yo, I watched all them shits too. I can't believe there's another big baby. Like that's crazy. That's looked, crazy. Yeah, looked that, looked no, he looked up. good. He looked good, but yeah. he got hit. He got hit from that dude. He got hit yeah, from that, that dude. He was but, fighting the but, but 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 um, I don't know what fight we was watching. It was yesterday. And I think it was Bradley or one of the, definitely one of the commentators was like, yo, when a dude don't punch, just put the earmuffs, go in there. It was either Algeria or Bradley. So, you know, um, that's not what Big Baby did, or should I say the real Big Baby. Uh, that what Chris Cobert did, though. Man, bro, I ain't on front. That shit put me straight to sleep. What? I promise you. I mean, the first six was I hard. Promise I promise you. Tell you. The, the first six was hard, but Bruh. nigga, that, that second half? No, Jeez. it literally put me to bed. I woke up to 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 IG shit about Rosario, mad as fuck, bro. Had to go watch it on YouTube because I recorded it. Fucking nigga, why, why do I have ESPN Plus if I can't watch the replay? Oh, you gotta sign in with your cable provider. Fuck, I got ESPN Plus for me to watch the replay. I ain't gotta watch it live. Let me watch the replay. I ain't got. I, I gotta get on YouTube and fucking search for it now and shit. Come on, wait a minute, man. wait a minute. I thought that was just me, Mike. No, it's Mike, no. every time I go to use this stupid ESPN Plus, I, I already got my credentials saved, and it still says signing into your cable provider. And all of a sudden, my fucking screen says Xfinity on the top right. Bro, what kind of weird shit they got going on, man? They charging us $5.99 per month. Then they charging us pay-per-views. And we got to have cable to use it. I don't even understand what's going on with ESPN no more. I promise you, man. Um, even watching the main card, when I clicked on the main card from my, my Android TV, it came out three different versions. Do I want to watch the in the ring, Spanish version, version. English version? But it yeah. all said log into your provider. It's crazy. The uh, the in the ring shit... It that's like too many ESPN cameras Plus, for me. I, I ain't want to watch that shit, bro. I'm like too many angles, bro. Like yeah. I don't care about all this locker room and shit. Just show me one fucking camera, camera version. But I don't know, bro. It makes no sense for me to have ESPN Plus and I can't watch the replay of a top ranked boxing event on ESPN Plus. Why the fuck do I even got it then? Like, come on, man. Like, give me, throw me a bone or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn. But wait, you, aren't you're you not gonna replay it either? Like, you you're not replaying it on fucking ESPN at all. But we're not having a, no no four o'clock in, in the morning stream or none of that shit. So I gotta wait till y'all fucking decide y'all want to put it on ESPN Plus for free, or gotta fucking find a fucking stream on fucking YouTube or fucking Daily Motion. Come on, man. But wait, Mike. So, cause I use the app on the TV on the Android TV. So I go to Android Home, boom, just go to ESPN app. I go to the top rank. They got a little top rank uh, icon. I go straight to that just so I so I can skip all the bullshit. And then I go to yesterday's, I went to the undercard, and I clicked it, and it does say what you say, and then it's spinning, and it's signing me in, but it leaves me there. It don't take me to my cable box. I stay on the on the app. Where do you go? Because you're saying you ain't even on the app? No, no, I'm staying on the app, but to watch the main event, like, I watched the undercards, no, no, no problem, Puts it came on fine. The main event, since it, since it came on ESPN regular. They want you to have ESPN to in, in order to watch it. I'm just like, bro, ah. if, if it's on ESPN Plus, you, you, the damn title right there, why can't I just watch it on ESPN Plus? You guys not going to show it again on, on uh, ESPN? Yo, you know that sometimes, because y'all always fall asleep. You stay up. So I fall asleep. I wake up 3 in the morning and I can't watch the stream. It'll say it's unavailable on my TV. I got to watch it on my telephone. I could click on it all I want on TV. It'll say replay unavailable. I go to my mobile phone and I could watch it on this. It's, it, it is. I mean, I guess they got to work out the kinks, man. It's been about a year, though, for them, too, right? Or is the zone the only the one that got a year in? It looks like it. I think it's been about a year. Yeah, they started about the same time as the zone. Maybe not 
maybe like a month or two after, or maybe even before the song. Like ESPN Plus probably been out for about two years now. Hey, Canada, man, where you from? I'm always asking fighters your question. Don't know where you from. I just assume California because of Canada. I think from California. But he up, said that up. that ESPN put him to sleep. I you um, I mean, I was excited for Supernova. Then I got excited to see the new Big Baby. Like yeah. I wasn't expecting that, and I was, and then I even got more excited to see Victor Bisball since we had on Stephen Fulton. No, Stephen, we did that's have Stephen Fulton. That's the only reason I watched because uh, Big, Big, Big Shot Show. Yeah, Big Shot Show. We did have Stephen Fulton, but I meant to say uh, Stephen Shaw was on the he show. He was at the motherfucking fight in Philly. Stephen Fulton. I can't believe he wanted to fight Victor Bisball. Like, he was like, yeah, I think a guy like Bisball, like, that's what he wanted. Dude, his pants were falling down, yes. Bro, they had to tape him. <laughs> you ain't noticed that? They taped him. They taped him with white tape, bro. Like, my man titties bigger than my girls. Crazy, bro. Crazy. Crazy, Child's man. Free, man. He, he, he got that man a thousand low blow chances. I'm talking about it. Was, my man combinations, nigga, included a low blow shot like every other time. Body shot, head shot, low blow. Nah, Vargas was supposed to lose, bro, but he was fighting with a heavy heart. You know, his father had died on January 7th for something like that. So he just took this frustration out on Victor Bisball because he got hit with a left hook, bro, when I thought it was over. But we bouncing all over the place. Yeah, we, yeah, let's get back to the let's get back to the basics. We're gonna go jump out back, back to the Fox card. Jenison Rosario shocks Julian Williams scoring a fifth round TKO, making short work in a really, really good fight. First upset of the year. Chris Colbert took on Jezreel Corrales. Uh, uh, you know. Look, this guy, Corrales, his style is very difficult. Um, honestly, I wish Colbert would have just kept pumping the jab. Not single. Doubles and triples was when he was having success. But um, like Wilder in Wilder's versus Fury first fight, there was so much pressure on him, I believe. And I mean, Colbert, like to shine. I told you, I seen him on his social media saying, you know, I'm bringing a bell home. Who party with me? He had a whole party set up. And he wanted to shine. You got the you got Lennox Lewis talking about he got power in both hands when my man only got five knockouts. He out here trying to shine. And they talking about, oh, his last three fights. He got two. So I think he was trying too hard. Shout out to him. He got the win. He got a knockdown. And, you know, he moves on. But that was a listen, that was a huge step up. And um, listen. That was an awkward style for him, bro. That was an awkward style. I'm just glad he got a decisive win. It wasn't a gift. Yeah, I, I I think the total opposite. I don't think he was like he was pressured at all. The way he was talking to his corner, like, bro, chill out, man. I got this, man. It's a 12 round fight, you know what I'm saying? I got this. Y'all chill out. I know what I'm doing. And exactly, those, because his corner wanted him to stick to the game plan, not go out there looking for no home run. He wasn't looking for a home run, though. It, 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 if, if you was looking at it, bro, bro he, he almost was, was falling throwing that left hook. Bro, he was breaking his dude down because he knew that Lee left foot was going to be like the only uh, way he can get a reaction because that, that, that jab, my man, just moving back. My man moving positions every four, five seconds. He wasn't giving uh, Chris Colbert no stationary target. So that double jab, triple jab for a dude who's moving ain't really going to work. So Chris Colbert, you know what I'm saying, got, got into his bag, caught him with an uppercut, you know what I'm saying, caught him with some hooks, caught him with a, uh, caught him escaping out a lot too when when uh when Carrados was like trying to spin out, he caught him spinning out like a, a, a few times too. And uh, he was able to, I believe he was able to get a knockdown, two of them, right? He got like a, a eighth and ninth round knockdown of that man coming forward, so. Yeah, he got him, he got a knockdown. So big ups to Chris Colbert for, for just being like calculated, man, and understanding what 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 he's seen in the ring, and not you knowing saying necessarily. I know it's good to, to to listen to your corner, but if you feel something inside of you that's telling you, man, stick to this right here and do this right here, and it working, then keep on doing it. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the way he was in shape. My man didn't sit down for not one round on no stool. I don't need a stool. Get this stool out this corner. That then I'm not tired. He still he stood up for all twelve rounds. So his cardio, his stamina, uh, his game plan, his mental capacity, man, really impressed me uh, 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 this weekend. Maybe I'm just a big Chris Colbert fan. Well, I call him the boxer formerly known as Chris Colbert because he had prime time, golden child, little B hop, whatever you want to call him. He is a bad man in that ring, and I, I, I'm glad he got a w, WBA interim. But I feel like the WBA is just doing doing too much, uh, giving out belts every other weekend. 
to people in the same division that already got a belt. So WBA got to do something with that, but I'm glad to see uh, Chris Colbert is a uh, world champion now. I mean, we can't say that he's not, can we? Well, I think someone from PBC is watching because they definitely put in the new WBA interim. They didn't just try to play it off as world champion. So, um, I mean, if they're they're going uh, to that extent to use the word interim, I'm assuming that he's going to use the word interim. We'll see. We'll see. All right, man. Let's see what we got on this on the docket. I mean, I don't mind calling him interim champ. I mean, call him interim, call him WBA, but shit, at the end of the day, he's going to say champion at the end. Uh, Joey Spencer gets UD over Eric Spring. Uh, he was in there again, like, with another game opponent that only had one knockout to his name, but Joey, um, Joey looked... Look good, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe he just got married or something like that. So big up to him for that. Uh, he looked look look decent. I'm not gonna say I mean, I'm not gonna be too too hard on him, but I, I was expecting him to get that guy up out of there, seeing that he only had one knockout. I thought the game plan would have been a little bit more pressure, 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 pressure. But you know what I'm saying? Uh, Joey keeps on winning, and he's only like 19 years old, so he got a long way to go. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't even know how they gave him prospect of the year. Meanwhile, Colbert's main inventing and looking as good as he's looking. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't I don't get it. Uh, but look, this guy looked OK, too. You know, um, Spencer, uh, he, he was dealing with an awkward dude. My man kept that lead hand out there. He was a southpaw. He was lanky. And, uh, you know. It took it took some thinking and some time, but um, he was able to get the job done, man. He's just I just want I just dude had one KO, so I was just expecting like, bruh, attack that motherfucker. You know he ain't got no power. You know what I'm saying? He got one KO to his name out of what 15, 16 fights. Attack him. Yo, that's what Goosen told him when he tried to go over there. For real, I mean, I mean that should be the game plan. If if you see dude, a nigga only got fifteen fights and got one KO, bro, that tells me, man, get on his ass and try to get him out of limb. Let me see how tough his chin really is. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, I guess he's got his style and he's not gonna get out of it. So we'll see. Mm hmm. So what else we got? We got. Park, oh yeah, man, bro. baby. Bro, I, I watched so this shit. I was pleading Thursday. Come on, Coda, please. I'm tired of seeing you being that B side. You loser. put money on it. No, it wasn't oh nowhere to be found. It wasn't on fire. Thank God. Yet. Thank God. Yeah. Because they would have, bro, I mean, I would have been mad. Because I had that feeling. No, I told y'all, man. Like, yo, like, I was hoping that Lamana turned it around. And his trainer, he ain't with Chino. He was with Rel. How do you make it there, though, Ness? What you mean, to that level? Yeah, like, I didn't see anything that to tell me. He should be in the. It's Jorge Cota, bruh, bruh. Hey, I'ma tell. I told you. Other than that bitch who gets that man. I told you Thursday. He a ticket seller. He's he he sells enough tickets to do his own promotions. It's called MP Promotions. He's his own promoter, and he really promoting. He ain't out here like these other dudes with a promoter's uh, banner getting a check. No, he's out there in Atlantic City selling tickets all the time at Caesars and Bally's Casino. So he'll get, bruh, he'll get, listen, I think the biggest name before this was probably, uh, um, well, actually, you know, obviously for Antoine Douglas, he, he lost to someone else, and he had to draw with Bracero. But he brought Bracero in, and they made they like they had a big little fight down there, bro. So that's how he does it. Um, I just couldn't believe that with, with, with it's been about a good three years. Um, that he's been with those guys down there, you know, training in Philly with Tevin and Rel and and all those boxing, bro. He was not listening. They threw the towel in because he wasn't listening. They threw the towel in because he wasn't. They told him what to do, and he'd rather be a spawn partner. That's a spawn partner mentality. When you throw your hands up and you just let somebody hit you, and you do one occasional hook, one occasional body shot, and you back to earmuffs, you on some spawn partner shit, bro. And you ain't got headgear. This nigga was pop goes the weasel with his head all night. The uppercut was taken, bro. 
It was like one of them little games at Chuck E. Cheese to come out the hole and you hit him with the hammer. I'm like, what the fuck? Bro, I felt so bad because he white too. So it's, he was getting beat up from the opening bell. Coda put him on the fucking ropes in the first 10 seconds. I'm like, I'm, so, I'm looking at Doomy like, bro, he's not going to even try to use the jab. And Coda was just coming around all day. Every time he put them earmuffs, big loopy, right and left hook. It ain't matter. And then he was, he then he got smart. Start throwing them up the middle. Oh my God. He made Coda look good. And all I could repeat last night was, damn, Jamal and Lubin on a whole nother level. A whole nother stratosphere, bro. Them niggas is leaps and bounds. Like, it's crazy what they did to this man. Yo, boxing is real, bro. Yeah, boxing is real. Shit. I was so happy for Coda, though. I'm like, now I'm looking at Coda Pop just like, damn, is Coda hitting hard? Because that shit hitting don't look that hard. hard. You seen his face? It, 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 the, I almost cried, man. The punches didn't look hard, though. I think that that stoppage was the most humane I mean, thing they did, bro. Because it was only like the fourth or fifth round. And it was looking like it was the 15th round. My nigga Coda had his hands down just working on his shit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this right here. Do, do, boop. <laughs> do, do, boop. His hands just down at, the, at, at his side the whole time. Like, damn, Coda out here looking like a, a motherfucking Josh Kelly little type. Pop, pop, pop. He, you know was, yo, he was feeling himself, bro. Boy, that shit. I was so happy for Coda last night, man. Like, he finally get a victory after being a, that, that, that guy who always get beat. I always get knocked out and shit. So, I'm happy for him. But, yeah, man, Thomas Lamotta, man, it's levels to this shit. And I I never heard of you. Probably the one never hear, hear of you again. If you can't beat Coda, you ain't going to beat nobody. Bro, the, the, the crazy thing is he got on PBC. They thought... And, and, and I don't mean PBC Al Heyman. I mean, he got on Fox. And they believed he was going to win. So even matchmakers could, could be wrong. Because I don't believe that. I didn't see no shoulder content for Kota. They put him proposing to his girlfriend in the ring. And told the whole story on air. And, you know, Thomas Lamont of this. And Tom, I'm like. They Twitter treat, is brutal. Bro, they treat it. Oh, what they do on Twitter? <laughs> How you going to put a nigga proposing to his wife then get beat up right after? I mean, yeah, but they wasn't expecting that. That's what I'm saying. They was promoting him. They was but giving bro, him that his shot, one, man. For round one, though, like, you could have just cut, like, bro, hey, man, just leave that, leave that proposal out. He he ain't looking too good right now. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> like, He ain't looking Damn, too good. Damn, man. Nah, you man. Bring that up. She over there looking like she happy, showing the ring off and shit. It's it's so Next hard, round, man. man get busted. Man, come on, man. Bro, and, 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 and I don't understand. Like, Mike, honestly, I don't understand. Because he over there with some real fighters. He's over there. He's over there with, with people that's gonna that's gonna check his gut. You know, they're gonna check him. I don't understand why he can't perform under them lights. Like, why is he not listening to his trainer? Like, they would he didn't get here by accident. You know what I mean? He had to take the long route because he ain't a top talent. So I, I just don't get what went wrong. Why he stopped communicating. He ain't even stopped. He never started because he came out there and just threw the earmuffs on. He said, fuck this shit. It's cold in this bitch. <laughs> Damn, man. Thomas Lamont and my mans and them. It's, 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 it's tough, man. It is, bro. When you know these dudes, man. And uh, you've watched them work, bruh, all this time, man. And this is third opportunity right here, man. He been yeah, on Showbox man. twice, man. Uh, what we got next, man? We got John Vito. John Vito Melanicki gets he? a four-round decision over Preston Wilson. I ain't, I didn't see this fight, did you? Nah, man, I ain't see that one. I ain't see that one. And uh, Patrick, I mean, Paul Crow. Uh, seven and oh, six KOs get stoppage over Ma Marcel Rivieras at 49 seconds of round four. Also, another one I didn't see, but uh, I, I know Paul over. Crow. I know Paul Crow. We interviewed him a ton. He's from Philadelphia. Shout yeah. out to my man Joseph. Let's call him in the video. So I got that. I'm gonna watch it later on. Uh, let me see. Um, number, number two. 
Alito Alvarez, man. That, night, night. Yo, he put Seals to sleep. Man. man. Bro, that right hand didn't even look like it had all that shit. That shit put him... Bro, and to hear this, Seals don't even need to be... This is what I'm saying. This Seals you gotta, fuck, though. You got to respect these dudes, though. Like I'm saying, like like Lamana, right? He could make money promoting other dudes on his level because that's what he do. He be the main event on the card with more dudes on his level. So he could just stop fighting and keep doing that. And Seals, I mean, what they said, his wife a, a, a doctor or something? Yeah, and, and, he, and, and he got like a, a degree from somewhere too, so he don't that, need the box. Bruh, and he got crazy, like he got a motherfucking uh, beach body. Like, bruh, what is you doing getting knocked out for real though? Like, come on, man. Like, he ain't on that level because before the knockout, like he had, like he showed me nothing to say that he was going to hurt Alvarez. Like, my man just he can't put it a, together. Not, not, not only that, like he stayed in Alvarez punching range. Like every time Alvarez would, 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 would throw that right hand, he wouldn't take a step back. Bro, ain't He'll somebody whack ass shoulder roll. Collarbone roll. Fuck a shoulder. Nigga, I ain't see a shoulder move not one time. Bruh, it was all nick. And hey, somebody it need to check his nigga. ass too, man. He can't be going running around here talking about he from Alabama and he the light heavyweight Deontay Wilder. Oh, he can't be doing that shit, man. Fucking up, man fucking up the champ's name like that, man. How you gonna bro. call it a shoulder roll too, man? That shit was broke as hell, bro. Nah, bro. He was so, bro. He was cat. Like before he got hit with punches, he was blocking in the shoulder roll. Even the, man, come on, now. that's that's what he was doing. We all come know on, that. Man, Even Bradley man. talked about it. We all know he was yeah, trying to shoulder roll. Bro. That's bro, shit. Philly that's, shell, that's, there, man. Whatever make you feel <laughs> better, man. No roll. It wasn't no shell. That shit was like a tortilla flat. Bro, and right? the crazy thing is. He got work with Hot Rod. Um, who else I seen he was sparring, man? He sparred a couple good people, but what I didn't understand, listen. Ah, oh, man, how do I say that shit, bro? Like, and he can't fight. Say, bro, like, he a doctor. He, 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 he can't fight. fight. He, can't, he never threw a jab. Like, he, st he tried to walk a jabber down in the shoulder roll. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? He called it the Camden shell. <laughs> the Camden shell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. The Cannon, right? And his name Cannon, his nickname Cannon or some that's shit. The, that's the Alabama roll right there, nigga. Damn. Oh, that's the roll tie. He came, roll <laughs> he came to the ring <laughs> doing the roll tie. <laughs> Yo, no, bo man, both from Bama man. and Edward gonna call it like hell no, nah, man. <laughs> my friend, my boy hit me last night, like, man. <laughs> no, no, Batman hit, hit me about he, he hit me up about, about uh, uh Big Baby, but not but not my other man Michael Seals. But yeah, man, my man was always in range of Alvarez's right hand. Like, man, yeah, he do that shoulder roll, still get caught with the right hand. I'm just like, man, he he should take a step back. Like when he do the shoulder roll, like that's what Floyd did. Why are you ain't taking a step back with the shoulder roll? Only time Floyd like really really dipped down is when he he was on, on the ropes. You know what I'm saying? And he couldn't take a step back. But yeah, he he went putting them together. He was just throwing that right hand out and ever raised, nigga. I could see it coming from, from TV. So if I could see it coming, you know what I'm saying, outside of the room, I'm sure ever raised, like, bro, I, I can see his movement when he stepped forward, he's going to throw that right hand. And every time he stepped forward like that, he threw that right hand. I always fell short or ever raised, I always dipped dip, dip, dip out to the side. And big ups to ever raised, man. That's like a that's like a grand slam ninth, ninth inning. Bases loaded, you know what I'm saying? That's like Michael Jordan with four seconds left going to the game and you bust that three on their ass. Or that's like I did me Tom Brady driving the ball down the field, first and five and goal, and you score a touchdown and win the Super Bowl. That shit was clutch. He caught him at, at the end of the seventh round, knocked his ass out. Then my, my man had the audacity to get mad at the referee in, in his corner. Like, my nigga, you was on the ground for like 30 minutes. Like you you won like even when they count to fifteen, you still didn't get up. Like Bro, I didn't even down. see him get mad. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got mad. He was like, man, push to the corner. Like, ah, I was good. Now you wasn't good, my nigga. You was down. Down and out, all right? It's over. I'm gonna say referee gave you like seven seconds and you, and you didn't move at seven. What you expecting you you, you to get up at, at, at up at ten? Just hop up, you know what I'm saying? Off one leg or that. But he was stretched out laying sideways, so yeah, man. It's over, bro. Um, I'm not as sold on Alvarez as you, though. Like, I need to see Alvarez in with something a little more. Like, he ain't getting no Who type of... I was sold on my nigga? 
Oh, because you said against, I picked up against Kovalev in the first fight, but after he came up and, and dropped that goose egg, the, the the second fight, I was just like, I don't know how motivated he is at times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it almost felt like that for me in this one until he started to have success. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know that he really knows how to put it together. And, 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 and you know, even Bradley was saying something about keys. The victory was uh, him staying focused. And you can see that he loses focus every now and then. It's just Seals never, like, Seals doesn't know how to mount an offense. Some dudes is just spawn partners, man. You know what I mean? They, 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 they mentality, uh, they don't know how to go into offense, you know? Or, or them shots hurting and they don't want to go into offense. But, uh, yeah, what's next, man? Felix Verdejo beats Victor, uh, them beats uh, Manu, Manuel Ray Rojas. Bro, he still need ADD. work. He still need work. I wonder, I, like, I, I wonder if top rank is even going to, um, you know, keep investing in him, right? Because in his interview, he, he made it clear, like, damn, man. You know, it's kind of like do or die. I got to win this fight. Um, my top rank career is depending on it. I'm trying to prove people that, I, that I'm, I'm serious and I can do it. But, like, he still took shots, bro. Every time he in a fight, he look like he's in a fight. He don't never look like the winner. He come out that bitch looking like he lost, even if he won. Yeah, man, he get touched a lot, man. Uh, I was, like, in and out on this fight, so I really didn't, like, sit down and watch it, watch it, because I was trying to watch the uh, the main event of uh, J-Rock and them. But, uh, yeah, man, it, it, it feels like they hold, man, it, it's like the same old, like, story. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even when he when he wins, he don't look that good winning. Like, he, and he in, he in close fights that he shouldn't be in close fights against dudes that he shouldn't be in there. You know, he should be knocking these dudes the fuck out and getting them out of there. And because he's getting the same diet as everybody, everybody else. I can't believe that I'm actually saying diet now, but he's getting the same kind of treatment as everybody else. And he's not getting the, the, the performances that, that everybody else is getting. So yeah, man, uh, maybe they told him something and maybe shit, his, his top rank, <laughs> Contract or life is dependent on uh, how good he looks, but I'm sure if if top rank drop him, somebody else would gladly pick him up. Let me tell you, if I'm top rank, I don't drop him yet. I um I give him to 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 my man the Honduran in New York City ASAP. Served on a platter, on a fucking platter with a bow. Yo, Fimo. Hell yeah. Put him in Madison Square Garden, the big room, versus Tiafimo, first defense. Man, bring the house down. Bring the house down. Do that shit in June, right on the eve of the Puerto Rican Day Parade, you know? This guy's back. Oh, yeah. You know, he's going for his title shot because he was supposed to get a title shot, and he, um, he had a motorcycle accident. Bro, but that's it. It's, it's a cash out. Like, we try, man. We keep giving you people. We keep, I mean, look, he can't get it done. You know what I mean? And it's either now or never. He's 28, they said, or 26. Yeah, man. Getting like, older, man. So, yeah, like, like he said, it's now. And then, like, this is the time. Like, and I know 26 getting, sounds young, Mike, for those. But, just, but, like, from 26 to 28, you, you should be either already have a title or at the brink of a title. And he's nowhere near that. And not only that, like, yo, what you going to do? Keep letting him develop with Ishmael Salas, taking beatings from these no-name dudes? Because you watched his face yesterday, and I watched that whole fight. He got touched with a lot of right hands from a dude that ain't had no power. If he went with that right, it's over. He going under the ring. Under. And that's what I'm saying. You they need to do it in Madison Square. Build up Tiafimo off him. And that's it. Cut him after that. How long has he been with uh, Ishmael? Oh, this is his first fight. Oh, shit. So it's not, it's, it's not Ishmael's fault. Oh, but he man. ain't looked that bad. He looked better than the past. He just ain't ready. Like... I don't know that he ever will be, but I mean, Ishmael does bring dudes back for real. So right. we could we give got, him time, uh, but I don't think Top Rank got the time. We got Hazel Banks coming in with Super Chat. Luis Ortiz's son slept J Rock. Luis really? Ortiz's son. Luis Ortiz's son. I don't know. Oh, he called him Jen He called him Jenison Reside. That's mad racist, yo. Jenison oh, is Dominican. Luis Ortiz is uh, Cuban, <laughs> bro. That's fucked up. How many KO losses can he take? Might be time. To plan for life after boxing. Come on, this is second KO loss. Is on fire. Yeah, man, ain't time to plan for life after boxing. And I do the agree hell? with you though. How many how many KO losses this Chisora guy? He in the title shot in a couple months. Yeah, come yeah, on. He got a, I think he got like one, two, maybe three. Man, David Hay knocked him stone cold right, out. Yeah. What? David <laughs> Hay put that. Yo, I think David Hay knocked him out the best. 
Damn. Better than uh than uh, Dylan than White? anybody. Damn. Oh, Dillian White. Probably, cause yeah, you gotta say yeah, cause Hey had the younger, fresher Very, Chisora. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, but I, I do agree with man. That one fifty four division might be the best in boxing. I said it a little while ago. I'm gonna say it might be the best division in boxing, man. Them did some killers everywhere you turn. Ain't no light touch, man. Jorge Cota showing niggas ain't no light touch out here. Bro, Mana, you ready? Now you not. Go sit your ass down somewhere. Yo, that's crazy. Cota just said he. Yo, I'm I'm a I'm still a player. <laughs> That yo, he remind me of uh Jesus, Jesus Soto Caraz, but actually Caraz had probably a little more you know accolades or success in his career. Shout out to Coda though, man. I, I hope he earned him a return. You know what I mean? I hope he get like a like a maybe an Austin Trout fight or maybe uh Pachi can get a a a, a Jerry Hurt right. fight if Jerry. I gotta got I gotta up. I gotta holla at Samson. See, was really shaking, dog, because you know Samson has got. Jenison, that ain't no PBC fight. <laughs> like, what's gonna happen? You know what I'm saying? Oh, so he, he, he could he could be a player. Yeah, no, nah, because just like uh, Fortuna, he ain't no PBC fighter. That's they just do business. You know what I'm saying? They just work well. They do good business. But Fortuna's uh, with Samson. Yeah, he, he he gonna win a title too against Luke Campbell, in my opinion. BM32. Nets put money on J Rock though. Laughing emoji. Nah, I didn't, bro. Yo, I ain't even been betting, I put man. Money on J Rock. J Rock let me down. I ain't even uh, been betting. I ain't even mad though. Francisco, Dominican, stand up. That's right. Latin, stand up. That's right. Rosario. <laughs> 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 and we got one coming from DBX UK. Salute to the DR. A hundred. Uh, DR getting a lot of love today. Henry Brown coming in with super chat. First Cassidy. Now J Rock. Philly taking L's this year, starting off the wrong foot. Now, if Farmer gets slipped, yo, this is crazy. Nah, Cassidy, far, uh, oh, uh, Farmer, to, fighting, uh, Farmer fighting Joseph Diaz. Joseph Diaz don't really got no power, but he do put everything he got into it. I sometimes. Mean, if, if if he catch him, I guess, with the right shot, but I'm, bet, I'm betting Farmer. Yeah, I, I seen when Joe, Joe fought his sparring, but, but he ain't really put no power on that shit, but it is what it is. Henry Brown coming with another one. Philly, hope Garcia win. Break the losing streak. <laughs> Damn, bro. Yo, they was... killed Espinosa on Twitter. He tried About... to get at the McGregor thing. He yeah. said, like, yo, what a pay-per-view. And Too everybody bad. was, oh, my God. They went in on that Showtime subscription so Don't hard. do that, man. See, Steven, he be opening himself up for that But that's kind of cool, bro. though. That's kind of cool that he's there. Yeah, it's cool. But, man, you, you come in that, man, these pay-per-view might kind of might did a million buys. Then what? Yo, Rich James, what you mean Ness finally see a Dominican chat? We had Johan um Johan Guzman was a champ and and Jonathan Guzman is was an IBF champ and he just got a win. He signed a top rank. Top rank, yo, top rank out here on some quiet storm, storm shit. Storm shit, yeah. If I would have told you last year that uh that uh Jason Rosario will be champion before Carlos Adamas, you would have laughed at me. Absolutely. <laughs> he was like, nigga, you shut your dumb ass up. But we got a, a, I, I would have said, I, who? I don't even know who Jenison was. <laughs> we got one coming in from Henry Brown. Coming, in. He, he got the, 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 the next foe. Yo, damn, Adamas did fucking let us down. Yeah. He was supposed to be that dude. Tech Shirley was just And fucking top rank night. don't make mistakes like that, bro. That was mm -hmm. crazy. But but actually, that wasn't... Nah, we can't say that. We can't say that because wasn't that a vacant title or something? They, like, they had to come to... It was some purse bids or what? I mean, McGee had dropped it and I think it, it was vacant. So, I guess the number one and number two fought for it. No, I think they fought for like a secondary and then Jaime dropped. Then they elevated Patrick. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yep, yep. Charlo should fight Rosario. Get get these titles. I don't know, man. Yeah, Charlo but the might... rematch clauses, man. yeah. And another one coming in from Henry Brown. I hear Fury limping at the UFC McGregor fight. Do you think it's mind games or he injured for real? If Fury is injured, then undisputed may never happen. Bruh, I hope not because we like five weeks out. Yeah, I ain't really heard nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? So I doubt it's something serious. Henry Brown says, Colbert versus Teofimo Lopez? Who wins? Y'all comment. Whoa. They're on two different They ain't even fields, on right? the same, yeah. they ain't even the and same way. And is, is on his way out, even though he's about to unify. He's on his way out from, 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 from 135. And last one coming in from Henry Brown. 
If Lopez KO Colbert, then Lopez versus Russell, who wins? Again, man, you got to start saying like Lopez versus Josh Taylor. Those are the kind of fights we want to see. Yeah, because Colbert not at one thirty five. He 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 just fought at one twenty one thirty for a WBA regular. You know what I'm saying? So he's there with Miguel Burchett, Tevin Farmer, Jamel Heron, you know, uh, Oscar Valdez. Uh, yo, you got to start saying Chris Colbert versus my uh, my other man. I'm gonna be torn. Chris Stevenson. I'm gonna be torn. It's gonna be a tri-state war. Yeah. Shakur versus uh wow that wow Gary that's gonna Russell be crazy. Too. Don't Gary Russell. He, he, well, Gary he Russell got too. Gary Russell got Farmer problems. We are gonna leave that alone. Let Farmer get a yeah, super fight. Right. Damn. Farmer says since since Gary out here acting like everybody ducking him, I'm on your ass after I beat up Joseph Diaz. So I want to see him do it. I want to. I want to. I want to see him jump all on that and get it done. Yo, let's run, let's walk over this other little news. Right. We done with everything on top right. Wait, wait. Actually, let's go through that top rank card a little bit better. Um, we we Devin spoke. Vargas, we spoke. On, who? Devin Vargas and Victor Bissell. Yeah, we, yeah. We I was going. Yo, you read my mind. That's what I was going to say. We spoke on it a little, but not really in detail. Um, these were just two overweight heavyweights. <laughs> they were like uh, Border Wars chubby weights. Sloppy as it fuck. was. It was a decent scrap because was it scrap. was like you know guys punching each other. But it time a nigga get caught with that left hook by uh, by uh, Bissell. Man, my guy. He got Biz power in the left hook. Yeah, he, he was, you know what, he though? Shook him. But, Mike, you know what, though? I mean, being honest, yo, now that I'm doing Border Wars and all that shit, it's like, this ball showed a, a tremendous tank, too. Yes. I didn't I expect the same thing. I didn't expect all those punches, and I, I expected him to at least look tight. He just would put his head down and say, fuck it, we going to work. Um, I was not impressed, but slightly impressed. Like, I still was kind of, like, in shock and just, like, Why? I had that look of why is Stephen Big Shot Shaw calling this guy out? Like, why does he want to fight this guy? Like, what does that guy from God last damn, night that they had to tape his pants from falling off of him? Like, why would a young up-and-coming heavyweight be calling that guy out? That dude was 39. I turned to my girl and said, babe, he's 39. Do I look older than him? Cause he looked like shit. I ain't gonna even front, man. If I, if she would have said anything, I would have went to the gym right there, right there. And now you going? You going to the gym? <laughs> my nigga, his thirty nine was looking way different, man, my, bro. My man came in like he just got done eating some donuts and fried chicken the nigga last night. Man, you I'm ain't lying. Had, a, had to get put. Like you said, his tank was impressive. Mm -hmm. I thought I I, I could have sworn like he he was gonna get dropped. You know what I'm saying B before Vargas got dropped, but Bisball showed that he had a tank. He had good movement and he had a lot of nice punches too. You know what I'm saying? Landing that dead left hook time at the time on Vargas, but Vargas just eating him. And one day we got to admit, man, Bisball, bro, come on, man. How many times Rev got to tell you get the fucking punches up, my nigga? You hit the man in the dick a thousand times last night. That's probably. Where he showed his uh, exhaustion, right, was, and that was the way out. Like, rather than take a knee or something, like, that's what people say. You you, you do illegal blows to get out of the fight. Because, you know, um, Anthony Peterson did that to Brandon Reels. Like, he wouldn't listen. He just kept hitting Brandon Reels low his first time on HBO and, and you know, eventually got disqualified. I mean, but it was just, like, so evident. Like, them fucking... The left hook was just bam. Not, like, bruh. I'm like, in the ref, like, gave him ample time. Like, the ref should have been stopped. And I'm like, bro, I counted like 18 low blows. The ref didn't even say nothing about. And I'm just like, I wasn't even. Um, and that kind of like made me, you know what I'm saying? Not really like this ball last night because of the low blows. Other, other than that, like, his tank was good. His punch variety was good. And he showed that he had a good chin because Vargas landed some big shots on him as well. But at the end of the Yo, day, Yo, the man, truth is that none of them look like real heavyweights. Nah. Like, the reason I'm even intrigued in the fight is, is because I'm more intrigued in Top Rank's interest in the heavyweight division. Like, they're actually paying these guys – to be tune-ups for their real guys. Yes. Like, yes. that's what these guys are here for. It's like, yo, get a little rust off because you about to be fighting Big Baby 
and this other real big That's baby. That's why you bring the Rodell Bookers in yeah. and the Victor Bisballs in for Sonny Conto. But this was a went, favor for went, somebody, though, because yeah. you had two tune-ups going at each other. When Sonny gets up there at 10 and 11, you know, he may, maybe fight one of these guys, something like that, a, a fight for big baby on the way back on somebody's undercard. Never know. So, yeah, man, I totally agree with that. Let me see what else we got on the docket. Well, uh, um, Abraham Supernova. Yes. That's the one you want to talk about. Take it away. <clears throat> Get the supernova weed over there, don't you? <laughs> he um this was his top ranked debut. Um he was an Al Heyman guy and he, he he left Al. He said he wasn't getting enough fights. He was on that Jamal Heron tip. And um he's now with uh split team management, so he's with David McWater. The new, Child, David Wallace, the new Al Heyman. Making moves out here, man. I'm making them big. And, Can we get him um, on the show, man? Yeah, we had him on before. We could, we could get him on. I know, again. I know. Yeah, we need to get him on again because he done made a lot of moves since, since we had him on. Nah, definitely. Um, so, yeah, man, this was his top-ranked debut, and I'm just happy for him. He's Dominican and Puerto Rican, just like my son. So even when they introduced him, they was like, the Domi Bori. Or no, they said Bori Domi. <laughs> the Bori yeah, Domi. Man. Like, uh, Bori is like a uh, short, short way for Puerto, saying like a Puerto Rican dude. Okay. Right? And like, Domi is like, it's a, same way is for abbreviation Dom. for Dominican. So it's like, gotcha. el Bori Domi. And then he, whatever. He did his thing. He looked good. Uh, he, he worked the body. Cut the distance well. Um, I, 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 I just see that they're invested. You know, uh, we were just talking about um, a guy like uh, Felix Videjo at 135 and, and Tiafimo. This guy is at 135, and this guy sparred Tiafimo for this fight. So, you know, um, they're invested in those divisions that they're invested. They keep signing 175s. They keep signing heavyweights and 135s. And 140s. You see where they're invested at. Uh, I wish they would sign some welterweights. Um, but, man, I'm happy for Abraham Supernova. Um, got a good win. Um, got some good exposure. And he's with top rank. So they're going to treat him right, man. Um, but he did it on the hard way. You got to understand. He's 18 and 0, 14 KOs yesterday. So 17 fights the hard way. His time with Al Heyman was short. You know, this dude was fighting in Belgium multiple times, my man. Like, he's he's gone everywhere to get fights. Dominican Republic, Belgium? Mexico. Yeah, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His last fight before this one was in Belgium, but he's got a few. Look, one, two, three, four, five Belgium fights. How one in the Puerto York. Rican and fuck Puerto Rican and Dominican guy get some Belgium fights? Bro, that's what I'm telling you. Like, we could be managers if we got some money because... That's how you get your fighter on car. And then a, a top rank. When you get a fighter to 18 and 0, top ranks come and knocking. Why? Because they need 135 inventory. Mm, gotcha. You know what I mean? Anybody's coming knocking. We need an undefeated fighter on TV. Who's your, Who? Okay. But you got to be good enough to not just get your fighter a one-off a one -off fight. You know what I mean? Get him a little deal. And that's what they did. They got him a deal. Now it's up to the fighter to shine. He's got to do what he could do. And he did that yesterday. You know, and that's the beauty of Top Brain. They give you the diet. You know what I mean? So they're going to throw him the diet until they're ready to put him in there in a fight that is going to be a fucking riot. And that's going to be Tiafimo. Or he might get lucky, right? He might get Verdejo first. They might sell cash out Verdejo to him. Make know? him look good right quick. You know what I, I'm saying? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that, right? He don't have a home. Like, he trains in Boston. He's with Hector Bermudez. We had Hector Bermudez on the show. He Shout out to Hector. Was busy last night. He had, like, four fighters on the card, man. Damn. Busy, man. Dominicans out here getting that in, for real. I was sleeping. Um, he the, he the, uh, he the uh, what's my nigga name? Damn, man. Mikey Garcia, brother. Mikey Garcia's Robert, brother, he, Robert. He the Robert, Robert Garcia uh, 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 on the East Coast. Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. He out here getting his thing. Yeah. And last but not least, we Yo, got... Yo, his gym is so far, though. If it wasn't like five hours away. Damn. Jared Big Baby Anderson. Yeah, the the real big baby, they call him. The real him. big baby, huh? And he doesn't look big like a no, fat guy. He's definitely in shape. He's definitely very young. 
And that's what I'm saying. Top rank is like sneaking up. Like, where'd this guy come from? I've never heard of him. He's never. very limber on the feet. Too. Very agile. As a heavyweight, he out here with his hands down, pop shot in. I mean, and that's what I'm saying. I, I like his confidence because he's seen that this guy couldn't touch him. And hands came down. You know, he started juke, side, juke stepping, side stepping, all this craziness. But he got the job done. He took a couple of shots, but he was entertaining. His ring outfit was in uh was looked good, you know what I mean? Definitely He's looking good. the part, bro. I mean, I don't even know how many fights. I I'm gonna Google him, but it's like, you know, he's he's definitely someone's um investment because he didn't come out there uh like a regular one and no fighter. Uh yeah, but I'll man. see. I, I be thinking like the ring outfit, like I you, I remember you said that shit about like my guy, what's the guy's name? Um no, Nicole Solomon. Solomon. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't looking like he had somebody behind him, but that, that shit probably does make a big difference. Like, Bruh. as far as your, your confidence wise, because of what Big Baby had on last night, he was clean. And the shoes were hard too. Like, the, the gold trim on the shoe. I'm like, okay, he must be somebody's investment. Did you watch the top rank fight with um, the dude Shakur beat, the Puerto Rican? Um, uh, you talking about uh, fucking. Uh, Chris, Damn, uh, Crystal Ball? No. No, he talking... Pitufo, I, Pitufo. I don't know his name, but it's Pitufo. I know his name. Christopher Shit. Diaz. Christopher Diaz, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you watch, watch that fight? Of a little bit of it, a little bit of it. All right, not, so you not, seen the opponent? Yes, yeah, the opponent. That's what a fighter they ain't got no back and looks like. You see everything, it was all title. Like he oh, went straight, title, yeah, yeah. he went straight to the <laughs> website, got the $32 title, uh, yeah. tank top and shorts, and the got the little... $36 title sh uh, shoes. He's in there. That's what that looks like. Anderson came in that motherfucker looking like somebody's project. You know what I'm saying? And um, it was almost weird. His name is Jared. The other name is Jarrell. Bro, this dude is 21 and 5. What the fuck? He's 21 and 5? He's 21 and 5. I thought he was like his first nigga. What? Oh, this is amateur career. Thank God. I'm not finna say, nigga. Thank I God. Was, I thought he said that was his debut or one fight he had or something like that. Thank God. Wow. Box Rec doing amateur careers now like this? Man, That's Box crazy. Rec, nigga, where is that, man? When you get money behind your neck, you Yeah, start, well, they is. They hooked up with the WBC a long time ago, man. You know what I'm saying? You start doing a little, little, little bit more. Yeah. That's man. a lot of amateurs, though, boy. But shout Pro out to Boxer. Boxer here bro. go right here. Oh, That's I, a lot of time they put damn, in Damn, was that his... Boxer? Okay, so he's 3-0. That's still okay. a magnificent outfit for a 3-0 fighter. And for a 3-0 fighter, that was a 5-3 and three fighter. That's not bad. Um, but that dude that dude also looked like, uh, you know, he had what? I think he had title shorts on too. This dude, bruh, he, he killed Andrew with that body shot. That's That was the end of the beginning or the beginning of the end. Bruh, that left hook to the Ain't body. That shit was sweeping, and it was it was it was it was sharp. Yeah, man. Um, I mean, look, I want to see him. He's a heavyweight. How big is he? Did he come in light? Okay, About six three, six four ish. Two thirty five, six four. Okay. Um, where's he from? He's American. Oh yeah, he's from Ohio. I remember they said Toledo, Ohio too. So. Bro, you look, let me tell you, man. Robert Easton, you know, he got a lot of love in Toledo. He got a lot of love in Toledo. He used to sell out over there. I wonder, man. Um, Marcus, man, Ohio runs boxing. We need your we need your your, your intuition on this one, man. What you your know how you what you got on on this guy for us, man. Um he looks the part. Like I said, I would like to see him keep his hands up. Oh my god, he's only 20. That's young. I knew he was young, but I didn't know he was that young. Yeah, man, definitely young. Uh, 3-0. Uh, look good, man. How, I mean, how young I'm was Kanto? I'm to see more about him. Huh? How young is Kanto? Kanto is like 23, 24-ish. You know what I'm saying? Not, not that old. But uh, moving on, man. Uh, return of the Mac. You know what I'm saying? When, when the Mac returned. Yeah. You know what oh, saying? before we move on, they said that he was sparring um, Tyson Fury, that this kid got to spar Tyson. Uh, that's good, then. That's good. Tyson said he got three more fights, though. Oh, he thinking retirement already? He said, I got, at least, at least I got, my champ thinking about six years. I got Wilder, Joshua, White. Oh, I seen that. I seen that. 
Contos 23, you hit it. All right. But, uh, but yeah, man, uh, when I guess Connor Ramonson did his thing last night, he brought up Floyd Mayweather. And Dana White said Floyd was hitting him up all last night nonstop. And then Floyd come to his IG and put Mayweather versus McGregor and Mayweather versus Khabib 2020. Is it something that are we interested in? Something that, that we want to see again? I'm not quite sure because, uh, honestly, I think Conor McGregor had, had, had some things to do in the UFC to get the fans behind him again. I know he last night he had a great uh, uh, performance over Donald Cerrone, but we all know Donald was not in his prime. He's at, at the end of his road, and that was an easy touch last night. But for Floyd, man, I think he's doing a lot of cloud chasing, man. And I mean, I know – I know the the, the the mindset and thought process of Floyd, but at the same time, I think it, it just looks cheesy, man. It's like you're, you're cloud chasing off a man's victory, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I want to see. I think Conor has some things to do. Uh, I, I would probably rather see Conor McGregor and Manny Pacquiao before I want to see Floyd Mayweather. Bro, Conor that's McGregor. what it was, Mike. My man seen that, 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 that McGregor out here on media interviews saying – He's negotiating. He getting a title shot. He see that Pacquiao out here posting that he wants McGregor. He like, I got to stop Deshaun. This is all cloud chasing, man. The fact that this is even news is like, I'm so... Yo, I love Floyd whenever he really comes back. But I don't like that whole fake tease and shit. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Little hater. He can't let nobody shine. How he going to post the McGregor one, then turn around and post the other dude? Two, like, oh, so you doing two fights? And then the 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 the, the, the fake poster, he be having these dudes on call making this shit for him. The fake poster says UFC. So like you about to get in a cage now? <laughs> I don't I don't even know, man. It, uh, he, he he just he just he just hate it, man. He need to just come back if he really gonna come back. But come on, man. He just and then and then the sad part is, bro. When I go see this post, right? This is what I'm saying about Floyd, bro. Like, who's gonna check this motherfucker? When I go see the post, he got two of these whack ass UFC posts, and then it's like six straight ass shots of girls. None of his fighters. None of his fighters, bro. Yo, meanwhile, his. Half his gym, Mike, is in training camp with Roy Jones Jr. Out here on internet is Tabidi, Roy Jones, Kevin Newman, some other dude I don't know, all on a double M bag at the same time. Video going viral. You think Mayweather posted it? Nah. He posting ass shots from Girl Collection. Come on, bro, man. Floyd need to get his shit together for real. No Javonta picks on there. Just half naked women talking about come to the strip club. That strip club making more money than Javonta Davis. Man, Why else said, is you promoting them asses more than you promoting your fighters? Dana, Dana White said we're definitely doing business this year. We are definitely doing business. Me and Floyd will they be gonna doing business. They're going to hold press conferences in, 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 in girl collection. That's the business they're doing. They ain't, no, 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 Floyd no, no. ain't fighting, fight man. Business. Floyd ain't fighting, man. He ain't fighting at all, you don't think? But, bro, he getting older and older. Dana White verbatim, he was asked, Will you and Floyd be doing business this year? We, me and Floyd Mayweather, would definitely be doing yeah, business. Yeah, Mayweather this year. as a promoter, champ. All right. He, he going to promote with, 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 with Dana. Mayweather going to the octagon, man. Shh. Bro, he better not be silly at this age, go trying no new sport. It's going to be some special rules, no kicking. No kicking, man. You ain't just. I don't. I ain't even see the Instagram clip. Send me an Instagram clip of uh, 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 of McGregor's yesterday fight. But I, I hear he choked him out, right? Because Diaz came out like, "Yo, you still in my moves?" Man, man, man McGregor beat the shit out there, man. No, well, no jokes, nigga. It was straight all hands. Put Paul in there, boy. First oh, thirty yeah. seconds over. Now you can go catch the first thirty seconds right now and, and give me a reaction to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it, I need an Instagram long, clip. I ain't got to I don't you know follow no mm <laughs> mm uh, dudes. I got you, man. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, number four, man, Wilder versus Fury. We have news on where it would land over in the U.K. Oh, yeah. On BT Sports, man. I, they, I don't they... know that I'm happy about that, man. 
Why you ain't happy about BT? Because even though even though I ain't gonna front, BT does a lot of like content. They create a lot of stuff. You know, they like, oh, listen to Ben Davidson. Oh, never seen this before. And they got a and their YouTube channel is popping. You know, we we we've gave them props on you know their fights with uh, the the Daniel Dubois doing two millions and stuff like that. But like, everybody knows Sky is bigger. It's just the bottom line. Everybody knows Sky is the premier channel out there. And I would have liked these dudes to get that Sky deal so that they could sell more, be in more homes. BT didn't even give us the number of pay-per-views they sold the last time. Like, fuck that, man. You know, BT, man, come on, man. Like, I want somebody that's, that's really... Um, uh-oh. I gotta man, get... look, bro. I'm... I'm... I think I'm excited for BT. I know, I know, because look, Sky Sports does a lot of boxing content too. So I know uh, BT has to come out the bag because uh, for for it even to be a a thought, you know, what I'm saying that you guys could let it go to to Sky Sports. That means Sky Sports offer had to be pretty big. And another factor is that the price point has not been announced yet so they don't know how much uh uh the uk people will be charged for this fight it may be anywhere from 19 pounds to maybe 34 pounds you know what i'm saying on, on the very very high end so that's uh to be taken into consideration too but at the end of the day man i think it's cool that it landed on bt sports i, I know they do a good job with boxing i'm not sure how happy the the uk public is you know what I'm saying? i don't know how many people are are to subscribe to bt sports like they're to subscribe to sky but at the end of the day you know what i'm saying uh bt does a good job put out a lot of content and i think it will do a good job over in the uk at promoting this fight too and there's another press conference that i've seen too right january 25th wilder fury another press conference that's too good i didn't know they had another press conference yeah i think i seen a flyer man or man, something like that i hope you not see? i hope not where uh, let me let me look. Right I quick, hope bro. not. More man, why they got Wilder flying around and shit, bro? <laughs> That's how I do, man. You gotta gotta promote, bro. Forgot what I seen that shit at. Yo, check that text. Uh, yeah, man. So I just wish. It would have got more exposure. Everybody knows that the UK people like Sky more than BT, man. Yeah, for, for sure. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So that's all, man. But it is what it is. Go to these notes right quick, man. Uh, did you see how Connor beat the paws off that boy? <laughs> nah, not hey. yet. Not yet. I'm trying yeah. to figure out who this over here shadow boxing and shit. Who shadow boxing where? I don't know. Who that? Oh, on Skype. Okay. Oh, yeah, I already told y'all that Tyson Fury said that he had three fights left, Wilder, Joshua, and White. Uh, Clarissa Shields and Tyson Fury were at UFC 46 last night. Hey, look, man, no no disrespect, and I mean this in the most uh, uh, um, complimentary bruh, bruh, way. she got a man, all right? Sure. I, I, she, she got a man, but, girl, you were looking good last night, girl. Damn. I see you. I see you out here, girl. Man, my boy, hold on. Sebastian Formella. Yes, you know, unanimous decision over Nick Warkman, Roberto as as Raga, something like that. Like it's, it got two R's. So you got to roll it. Uh, I can't roll it right now. But uh, Showbox Friday night. Vladimir Shishkin, man, my dude. I thought you gonna get a knockout, man. Like goddamn, and I ain't know you. This is uh, Sierra was, was shit trained with goddamn me Canelo. <laughs> if I would known that shit, I would have fucking picked the fucking distance. Because I, I, I know it's on Showbox and it's a uh, Salida up, up, up promotion. So, damn, I wish I would have known that shit. But, yeah, Vladimir Shishkin gets a UD. He goes 10 rounds with a guy that I never heard of, but he is Canelo's sparring partner. Uh, Igor Shelves get a first round stopping over Adrian Australia, man. He can hit my man with a body shot. And I swear to God, this is like he got shot with a, with a gun and like one of those bad – Acting movie, you see, start flopping, moving high, 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 high. like what the fuck, bro? I didn't know he. No, I seen that. that you talking about the dude that got hit with the body shot? Yeah, I yeah, thought he yeah. was gonna get up towards the end, and he did. He just stood there like in agony, bro. That shit looked like, bro. It looked like, like they ripped his rib off. He was like just that, holding bro. his side like he got shot. <laughs> my man was like, bro. Ah. 
But uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, Jericho O'Quinn. Man, Jericho took mad fight. shots. It's a good fight, though. I I, I think uh, I was uh, more impressed that Jericho was able to uh, finally figure out, you know what I'm saying, a, 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 a way to box that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like the guy was a uh, guy was just tough. Like, he was tough, but he wasn't like. <clears throat> It wasn't like the guy was, in, in my opinion, it wasn't like he was doing. Yo, wait, 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 wait. You know what I forgot to tell you? Go ahead. Abraham Supernova beat up Emmanuel Navarrete's trainer slash brother. Oh, for real? <laughs> that other dude, remember that dude? is Pedro Navarrete. That's oh, crazy. yeah, did that never with that brother? Yeah, trainer. Damn. Trainer. Yeah, they said it on the telecast. I just forgot. Cause I'm I'm, I'm sitting here. Thinking what way to like, do that? What 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 what, what way is Supernova at? 135. Oh okay. Yeah he got yeah he he away from my Navarrete. I was gonna say if, if he was at like 126 or 122, he may have problems. Uh, Billy Joe Saunders to bring back Ben Davidson uh, to be his trainer. So mm. we'll see how that plays out. Does that give Billy Joe an edge? And it's uh if he gets the Canelo fight, which is rumored right now. Uh, Adam Kornacki versus Robert Hellenius, official March 7th, Barclays Center. And they, what's the undercard? They announced that too. They announced, uh, ah, damn it, you're right. Uh, it's a good fight too. It's another damn, heavyweight. It's another heavyweight and a Jogba on it. Let me look it yeah, up. It's a good fight too. Yeah, and Jogba's on the undercard too. Frank Sa- Frank Sanchez, yeah. Joey DeWelco. Yeah. I got it on the list. I got it on the list. Yeah. Frank Sanchez, Joey DeWelco. That's, was that's on pretty the cool. Because Reynoso took a name as the first fight with Frank, right? That's mm-hmm. pretty interesting. Because you know Eddie Reynoso, uh, I, I sent you that, but it was in Spanish. Eddie Reynoso got trainer of the year from the WBC. And uh, he out here doing his thing, too. He Look, he California. He got stable up. He got, he got a stable. Over there. He got Ryan Garcia, Garcia the, Canelo. I mean, Ryan Garcia, Shit. Canelo. And now Frank Sanchez. He got yeah. a heavyweight. He got a heavyweight, bro. Uh, yeah. Joe Joyce. Says he may need a tuna fight before he go in there with Daniel Dubois. I said, man, this nigga right here, poo cheese. You, you, you need a woman for a prospect. You, you, you need a woman for a prospect. Come on, man. All right, Joe, go get your warm up, bro. I guess mm-hmm. Daniel be here waiting for you. The boogeyman, I guess. You, you guys want to call him over there? He done knocked out Joshua. Now he about to knock out Joe, two Olympian. Uh, James. My name, Jamal James versus uh, Thomas Delorme I for seen third that. WBA welterweight title. So it'd probably be like the interim or something like that. And uh, 411 in Minneapolis. I don't understand why they're going for interim. Like just just give him the uh, best feuds title who just fell a drug test. I know his, his B-7 is getting tested now, so the results should come out later this Shango. week. Shango. Yo, yo, how long he been out the ring, though? Last time he fought was uh, uh, De- DeMarco. Damn, man. Fucking DeLorme knows no English either, man. man. De- he be DeLorme trying, though. beat the Paul off the jam, Jamal James. He be trying, man, but DeLorme he ain't beat the Jamal greatest James. I just seen Jamal James go to war with a with motherfucking DeMarco, dude. With DeMarco, 135 DeMarco. 135 with best, best times it was at 135. Man. So, yeah, Jamal going to be getting tough, man. Last but not least, Scott Quigg versus John O'Connor. O- Carol on um, March 7th in Manchester. Yo, Carol I seen says. that. I got the email for that. That is crazy. Yo, shout out Eddie, bruh. He be bringing niggas back, man. Yeah, Scott Quick back, man. And fuck what you mean? And Jonah. Got Jonah out here getting fights. He got man, us knowing. Jonah, he got me stop. knowing Jonah, man. Like, I know. Stop fucking with Scott. Nah. Man, I'm nah. telling you. He ain't got no power to keep to keep Scott off him. Bruh, Scott is old right I'm now. Good, man. And Jonah ain't got no power to keep Scott off of him. Shop one. All right. He's gonna be Jonah one uh uh next time next week. Oh, Django. I mean, got, uh, no, wait, three months. Django got two fights last year, bruh. He took that time off after that DeMarco beating he July. Needed it. July. He needed it. So that's that's what? Man, that's a long time out the ring, bro. March, so March, April, May, June, July. That's like four months, about eight months out, eight, nine months. That's a long time off the ring, bro. Yeah. Uh, how, somebody went without, like, yeah, Alita Alvarez was like, like 350 days, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Uh, yeah, last night. yeah, yeah. He 
he was out a while. He was out a while. I don't know he if had, he was... had the Achilles injury or something like that. Damn. I didn't know he had Achilles injury. Me neither. Yeah, man, Everybody popping the Achilles, oh, yo. Man, man. Let me no, see when get... the last time the law made for the Lawman fought. He fought uh, oh yeah, he was ju- just on. He just fought on PBC. That dude that uh yeah that yeah Terrell Williams. Yeah. Yo, he took some shots in that fight though, yeah, man. That was a good ass fight. He that was took a good some ass shots, fight. bro. He needed that win too. He been it's been rough for him, man. Damn, oh yeah, had, don't forget, bro. Man, he had one him. fight in eighteen, one fight in nineteen. Damn. Go ahead and give me my crow, man. I did pick uh, Julian Williams. At least he getting a return on PBC because he fought Terrell on PBC and now he back versus Jamal on PBC. So, because at least Eddie bring you back, man. Eddie out here giving people food. I definitely get that crow with you because I thought man. Williams was going to win. Eddie out here giving niggas lunch. Me. You need, boy, look, you need some money. Look, we're going to set you up in Manchester. Then we're going we're gonna to put you on AJ on the car. You know we can put anybody on AJ on the car. We'll pay you right, all right? Then we're going to bring you over to the States and put you over in Kansas right quick. Then we, we, we'll put you on Julio Cesar Chavez on the car because we got to pay him another fight. Then we got you, you know? Like, Eddie, I heard moving up. T- Tevin, you want to go to Miami and fight, man, b- b- before the Super Bowl? We got you, big dog. We got you. Mm. Well, we 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 done here. What we got? Sebastian Formella got a decision. What? Yeah, he got a UD. My man, Sebastian keeping that thing. strap. He ain't letting go of that. Idea. He gonna unify, man. I hope. I hope man, they give him a shot. Unify shit, man. He, he gotta fight through money again. I think. I think that. Yeah, that's what, that's what, that's said, what right? That's what Ivan said. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see how that through money rematch go. Sebastian out here just having like title defenses, give money. Man, he went to the decision with Roberto. Who the fuck is Roberto? Some dude from uh, Nicaragua. I mean, uh, yeah, Nicaragua. Sheesh. Oh, Cavalasquez knocked him out two fights ago. Like my man, Eagles out Yo, here you know, we forgot to get Cavalasquez on Friday because whoever we had went on so long. Yeah, it went on so long, bro. I think it was, uh, was it, uh. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Now, it, I knew who it was. It was old girl, Alejandro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was we a had good an show. in-depth conversation with her, nigga. That was a good show. Yeah, it was, uh, it was good. Did we, it was did we good. say, oh, yeah, you said Frank Sanchez. All right, yeah. so we ready then. We ready. We ready. Yo. It is hard to continue developing new content and covering the sport as thorough as we do without contributions from loyal listeners like you. If you enjoyed listening to the Boxing Voice Radio and find it informative and entertaining, please consider making a donation. Remember to rate us five stars on iTunes. These calls are brought to you by El Camino Electrical Services, experts in electric vehicle charging stations. For consultations and turnkey installation, visit us at El Camino Electrical Services.com. All right, all right, going out to California Zone. CYP, what it do? TY to the P, what up, homie? What up, what up, what up? As we know, uh, Carlos King of the day. Anybody got an issue with that? Come see me. Jared Heard. You know, I, I, I had this argument today. You know, I got Jared Heard number one. Good, good, good. Good for you. Good for How you, you going to have Jared Heard number one with no belts? <laughs> this is my personal opinion. I got you. I ain't mad at nobody's opinion. Opinions don't mean shit. But listen, though. Y- y'all know that Cowboy Cerrone, his last two fights, he was knocked out. Do y'all know that? That they picked a dude who ain't had a win in a damn near a year. And who always gets knocked out? Yeah, double man. digit loss to make Conor McGregor look good. Come on, man! Conor ain't fought like, about what? a year, man. Why you mad at Conor? Yeah. Be mad at Floyd no, for no, 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 no. Why I'm, Floyd I'm call chasing I'm... a nigga who fighting a bum? Then ask hold you, on, my man. Hold, your, hold on, hold on, dead. hold on. Now, Cowboy Cerrone has to contemplate a retirement twice, my man. Do you follow that sport? Cowboy man, Cerrone is retired nowadays. Do you follow boxing? Stop it. Floyd huh? is retired, and your man still car chasing. I ain't got nothing to do with it. We talking about undefeated fighters versus dudes who taking L's constantly by other dudes. Last time I checked, Conor McGregor wasn't getting his ass kicked like that before Floyd fought. But Cowboy Cerrone was, has been, and still will be. Like, that's what he do. He take L's. He gets beat down all the time. And the fans eat it up. That's pathetic, man. Pathetic.
You got some more time? Right. So I pay you. You got something else to say? Uh huh. Right. Nah, he Come chose. To a, he chose to talk about UFC. I know, man. Kind of got him mad out here, bro. He huh? mad because Floyd won't want, want some kind of shine. Uh, why y'all mad at Conor for? He ain't do no, he, he ain't even boxed last night. Keep it boxing. Uh, no mastermind. Ooh, I'm out of your nest. You rocking? I I see, bro. We had we had a hell of an upset, dog. Had a hell of an upset, bro. How y'all feel about that? I mean, I ain't mad. That's part of boxing, man. Upsets happen. I ain't see it coming. Me neither. Look, let, let, let no, we, we, we can get one. We, we need to get one of them on the show. But I want to know. I want to know. J. Rod gonna take that immediate on um, rematch. I, Cause you know it, it, it's all up to J. Rod. What happened next? Is somebody gonna unify? Or we're gonna have a rematch. Dog? We 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 gotta find some information out. Yeah, yeah, I spoke to Jennison today, and uh, we couldn't get him because he was on the way to the airport, but we should get him in a day or two when he get back to All DR. Right. What, what the energy was, that's like you got into like what, they they, they going to jump right back into it, or well, they going to well, try to do it too? I, I, I spoke to, to Rosario, not to Julian. Oh, 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 all right, all right. But look, what what, what about her? Like, what, that cancel her out? So her... Yeah, he, that's, he in limbo now. Uh, I think his contract is out the window now because, you know, his contract is with Julian. Julian don't got no titles. You, you, the rematch ain't got nothing to do with the belts. That's why you could always get stripped. Right, 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 right. So, damn. So her her could go Dude, rematch. Her, so nah, her, nah, her. nah. He could go rematch Julian Williams hometown fight just for the glory. Like, yo, I want my get back, but ain't no belts on the line. Yeah, yeah, but, but I'm saying though, like Julian got to do that, or because he don't have the titles, if he ain't got the rematch, her if he don't want to, like her don't have no power and none of this shit no more. No, her See does not. Saying? Her does not. All right, I'm going right back. All right, all right. Uh, let me see what we got. We got Boomerang, J Matt. Oh yeah, J Matt. What up? You know how these bitches is in the sport. Total disrespect. Kid has no class, no style at all. I'm a gorilla. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a gorilla. Smartest thing you can do is to stay away from Darius. It the can't be the boogeyman I'm a if I'm the division. If, I, if I'm, if I'm, I'm, I'm chasing him, you want to bet a hundred thousand on that? Let's bet a million. Easy. Easy. Let's bet a million. Yo, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, I had best ball all weekend, so I just finished watching some of it. Um, definitely was upset on J Rock part. I thought he had put some of that 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 chin shit behind him, but um, <laughs> that one fifty four um division is just up for grabs. You got guys. Anytime we think we about to unify or see a clear cut champion, you got guys taking L's. Um, I don't know what to say about it. I hope J Rock does um get the chance to revenge his uh, loss and then he go forward. But um, that definitely. Um, like uh, Big Nick is afraid to admit that drops his stock in his potential fight against um, uh, Charlo going forward. Charlo is definitely the favorite. Um, the guy, I don't know nothing about the guy he lost to, but I saw how he fought and how he set J-Rock up. J-Rock coming in with that high guard. Uh, I think the adjustments he didn't make, he didn't make any, and he just got caught slipping. As far as uh, anything else that happened this weekend, anything else, uh, like I said, I've been playing, I've been coaching basketball all weekend. So that's the only other thing I got caught up on. I ain't got too much on the topic. That's my call. We got a super chat coming in from Henry Brown. Come February, who y'all got? Ness versus Koa Nike. Henry Brown coming with another one. Jokes aside, Lopez will be having a losing streak. I don't know, man. I think Lopez might beat uh, Vasily. Coming back, Henry Brown. Former will be dominating. He's getting more focus. Talking about the JoJo Diaz fight. Henry Brown coming with another one. Boxing needs to be governed like football. We have no champions. Just Even like though football holders. is reckless too. 
reckless. What you mean? Bro, come on, man. Them, 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 them teams cover up hella shit. Yeah, they cover up like, uh, like hella shit. What? Yeah, of like what? Like you said, what? Like what? But you can't really do it too much nowadays because of uh, videos and shit like that. But they be doing some shit sometimes. Man, they cover uh, up hella shit. I just watched that 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 Netflix documentary on oh, y'all yeah, boy. That shit was for fire. That shit was nigga. crazy, bro. I can't man. believe he was that young, man. Man, he, bro, you see damn, his brain bro. afterwards? Hell yeah, I seen his brain, but man. like, but like, it's, damn, bro, he was fucked up in the brain. Bro, he had CT bad. Like he, he was he had, like, yo, how city. how to do with the fucked up white t shirt? You knew he was in jail. His t shirt was all that shit looked like he been drying it on the back of this the bump for a long time. Yeah. Bro, how you gonna say, yo, Victor is a fake gangster? Nigga, nobody that kills three people on person. site with a handgun. A hand killer, he, he got no, Executioner a style. Man, what the fuck? That is a real gangster. Yeah, that's a killer. Uh, <laughs> it says boxing needs to be governed like football. We have no champions. Just like title holder champions are undisputed, plain and simple, undisputed to be mandatory. Harry Brown comes with another one. Kornacki or Dubois will be getting Wilder to sleep. What? Okay. What? Kornacki or Dubois will be putting Wilder to sleep. Kornacki or du- who said that? Henry? Henry Brown. Henry, He's Henry, 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 Brown. Henry, 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 you better get off Grandpa's old stash, man. You, <laughs> you got no coming from Henry Brown. Pacquiao will knock out McGregor, then rematch Mayweather. Big money. Henry Brown coming That's with another That's what he need one. to do. He better do a, a better knockout than McGregor. I mean, than, 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 than yeah, Floyd. Floyd. Floyd's was kind of like, walk down, I'm tired. Stop it. Yeah. I'm a tired knockdown. Henry Brown coming with Knock another out, one. Everyone is ducking Briggs. Let's go, champ. Why they scared? Briggs need to go fight Victor Bisball. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good fight. <laughs> if he could get past Victor Bisball, then, then, then we talk, man. But... I, I, yo, the, the 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 fact that people still out here want to see Shannon Briggs fights is 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 amazing. Hilarious, to me. right? It's good though. It's good for him. Uh, Mr. CYP comes with one and says, "I will always say what I want. I pay the cost." <laughs> that right here is funny. Man, Bent One Hundred says, "J Rock looked tired and drained." Congrats to Banana. J Rock will be back and box his head off. Yo, Mad Bent in like trainer shape. For real? Word up. All right, what you mean trainer shape? Like CYP shape. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I mean, a lot of trainers out here. Uh, John- Jonathan Wilder... <laughs> Jonathan Wilderding says, Joey Spencer, too hyped up. Should be undercard. Yeah. Yeah, they need to pump the brakes just a little bit. Not on no mean shit. Just like, stop giving him this TV time until he's looking like he deserves TV time. Exactly. Uh, we got a motherfucking ringer, and he's a killer. He's a killer. He's a gorilla. I said that. Where the A side? <laughs> where the A side? What up, killer? This oh, that's me. Dog. Oh, that's wow. You, that's me. What's up, guys? What up, champ? All good. Yeah. I mean, uh, the fights were pretty good. I wasn't expecting much, but they, I mean, uh, they surpassed my expectations, you know. Elider Alvarez probably got a, a, a knockout candidate of the year, which is crazy because he's in a big puncher, but this is the second time he he got a KO of the year type candidate shot, you know. So that was good. Uh, Chris Colbeard, I mean, uh, like you guys said, he was a tough opponent. Wait, wait, tough wait. Ball. You tried to slide that in? Who? What did you say? What's his name? Chris Colbert? Colbert? What's his name? <laughs> Some people like say, say a Colbert. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I yeah. thought he said Colbert. Ah, oh, no, nah, no. Nah. He said Colbert. No, nah, I, mean, I said Colbert, yeah. Oh. Uh, he's an okay fighter. I just think he, you know, needs some more experience and get some, you know, good matchmaking and he'll be all right. I like his style. And, uh, you know, Rosario, I wasn't expecting that at all. I, I, was, I thought J-Rock was going to knock him out, so... I'll have some crow for that one. <laughs> yeah, so that, uh, and the the Conor McGregor fight was trash. You know, like like CYP said, uh, they picked that guy because that's top twice in a row. 
he got stopped twice in a row. That's why they picked him. So they're trying to set up a fight between him and Pacquiao or Floyd or some shit. And that's that. Uh, I'm out. Thanks, TBV. Killer. Yo, yo, you, yo, Connor brings you all y'all little fanboys out. That's what the shit is. Calling man, into a, a movement, boxing right? show, talking about that, that, he that, a movement, nigga. I was that like wrestler. Icing back, smoking my blunt, nigga. And that's, I couldn't even get my blunt fired up for the fucking live fight chat. As soon as I, 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 I put it to my lips, nigga, he was, he was knocking the motherfucker head down. Right. Like Connor, don't hold on. <laughs> let me get, let me put my blunt up right quick, Connor. Shit, man, he a movement. I'm telling you, man. Connor, like, he, he gonna be like Floyd one day. Like we're gonna look back on Conor McGregor if he if he can keep, you know what I'm saying, like winning more than he loses in the next five, six years, then yeah, he's he gonna be a legend. Now that's a that's a guy that, that that you can say you can ask people is Conor a legend. She might be might have an argument right now. Damn, might Mike, have an argument right now. Mike, man. Mike, Mike got a job as kind of PR last week. I ain't know about what the fuck. Trying to bring him back to boxing, man. We have a fucking extravagant event. Make Conor versus Manny Pacquiao. I, yeah, I, make I, it. I would love to see that. Make it, make it, make it, make it. I don't mind it. Uh, let me get to Ringa Rel. Bro, Yo, you got to got you unmute. You're talking, but we can't hear you. Three, two, one. All right, we're going to go back to you. We're going to Ringa, Steve in Chicago. What up, SG? Yeah, hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, give me some of that. Give me some of that crow. <laughs> <laughs> I I did I did tell you guys though I knew there was gonna be an upset I just picked the wrong one I knew it I knew it I knew it and if I would have known that that guy was with Samson man I would have picked him I didn't know that either I, I really would have picked that Duke I, didn't, I I know Samson's dudes they come to fight man uh, but yeah so I got that all I got to do my research a little better. Yeah, man, we dropped the ball, man. I, I didn't know he was Samson fighter either till the end, Man, we bro. ain't dropped the ball, man. It just, the, on the night, he, he showed up. Nothing on Rosario resume showed you that he can be J-Rock. Nothing. Yeah, but Rock I mean, the, Mike, at, at plus 1,200, you dropped $10. Yeah. You dropped $10. You, you came up. You got a whole dinner date. Hello? Yeah, you still on, Steve. Oh, yeah. No, so I was just saying that, yeah, that 154, that's got to be one of the, the most competitive divisions in the sport right now. Number uh, one. You know. Huh? Number one division in boxing. Yeah, I mean, it's the most competitive. I mean, uh, there's a lot of guys in that division that, you know, the fights can go either way. They're 50-50 fights. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's all I got. That's all I got. That's all I got for today. I'll catch you guys next time. They be killing me with, 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 with that shit, Ness. They be killing me with what? that shit, man. What? Just uh, IG. That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I, 154 is the... Oh, is oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah. And 154 is, 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 is very competitive, man. Everywhere you look, you got... J Rock, you got Charlo, you got Hurd, you got Tony Harrison, you got Erickson Lubin coming back back up. You still got Austin Trout, you still got Nathaniel Gallimon, you got Patrick Testero, you got Carlos Adamas. I mean, you're talking about a competitive division. There's some guys right there, man, that's gonna be it's gonna be tough for anybody, man. Any 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 spot you look, I mean, every, every day somebody new is showing up to the party. Somebody new showing up to the party every day. So man, I like the division, and you still got my guy Black Magic over there on uh on uh uh, uh Golden Boy too. He he a one fifty four pounder. So man, it's, it's a good division, bro. It's stacked. I like it. Yeah, Magic ain't get on that level there though. No, no, he ain't on that level, but but he 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 up, up and coming. Yeah, Brian yeah, Castellano, uh, you right, man. Got shout that, out to Marlon, so motherfucking icy man, out here. Fifty in, in the U.S. Big Shout out to Marlon so icy out here getting body shot stoppages and shit, doing his damn thing, man. Shout out to you, champ. Yeah, 
Man, one of the uh, stories that we hear about boxing all the time. Got a day job and still out here getting body yeah, shot KO. Grinding. Grind Got to grind, man. Hey, man, that shit going to play out for you, Marlon. Bro. Keep on doing your thing. Mm-hmm. He looked light, too. Were you in that? He in the 115? 115s? I don't know. He looked skinny in the motherfucker, didn't he? <laughs> I'm about to Google that shit. Yeah, cool and Mario so I don't, I don't know he was one fifteen. I thought yeah, he was like one. Man, I'm uh, telling you he in the lower waist. I know he in the I thought he was like one eighteen or one twenty two or something Sims. like that. I know it's one fifteen. It's Sims, it's Sims. Yeah, Martin Sims. Yeah, man. But oh uh, yeah, big ups to him, man. But I love one fifty four, man. Then you got the UK version of one fifty four. You still got uh Scott Fitzgerald over there, you know what I'm saying? He the cream of the crop right now. And then you still got Ted Cheeseman, Anthony Fowler, you know what I'm saying? You got some good names over uh and 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 and, and UK that can put the uh in the mix. Then you got Sergio uh Martinez that beat Ted Cheeseman. Oh Cheese, shit, you know, he fighting at one thirty. At one thirty? I was gonna say, yeah, he ain't that damn small and that's one fifty. I was like, damn, he's small as hell. 130, though, boy. There's some sharks in the water at 130. Everywhere you look at, ain't no light touch. You know what I'm saying? So, WBC, Miguel Bachel, Jamil Heron, WBO, Kevin Former, you know what I'm saying? Is the, uh, is the, uh, yeah, IBO nah, he weighs from there, though. He, he got to yeah. build up. He got to definitely build up. And, and, and if he's fighting at 130 now, it probably, he probably can make 126, you know what I'm saying? That might be his uh, better weight class because he's just fighting at 130, you know what I'm saying, just to get fights and shit, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the title shot, he may be able to make 126. I mean, he made 126 his last fight in 2019. Come on, man. You got the, you got, oh, come on, man. Yeah, he made 119. Uh, he made so that's good. 126 and uh, 219. But yeah, man, shout out to him. It was actually a decision. I thought he got the stoppage. He must have dropped him a few times then. Mm-hmm. But uh, I like it. Yeah, good for him. What else we got? Callers, we got. We, got, yeah, we went to went to the ring of Steve. Might have to go back to uh, go back to West Coast see if if, if we're ready or not. Now, nah, rail dropped off. We're going uh, to Gado. Talk to me. What up, Gado? Shit, y'all can hear me. Yeah. Loud and clear. Yo, what's up, man? So check, man. Uh, shit, that J Rock, man. That shit was crazy. I was sitting up telling motherfuckers, man, like, shit, yeah, J Rock gonna take care of business, take care of business, and nothing really need to worry about. And then shit like man, that. You be hey, we be looking wrong, like in front of your friends and shit, yeah. like, but J Rock like, <laughs> this nigga, man. Bro, I, like, bro, I thought J Rock had him. No, nah, but he ain't have night. I called my guy, man. He was right there with me, too, dog. I called him. He was like, shut the fuck up lying to me, dog. I was like, damn, niggas couldn't believe it. It's boxing, though, man. But uh, that's why that's why I love to think about it, though, man. I thought uh, when they was fighting, man, the thing that impressed me about Rosario, man, looked like he was, like, exchanging, like, when he wanted to. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's just the way he was controlling it. Uh, I don't know, man. The kid got crazy power. I mean, I thought J-Rock did get some exchanges, man, but it was, like, it was like they J Rock was scoring field goals, you know what I'm saying? Like when he did do anything, and then Sario was coming through with touchdowns, dog. Was just rocking shit, man. I think kid could be a player if he, uh, you know, what I'm saying, keep doing the, uh, keep doing the shit right. What I want to call in and say though is, I heard the promoter in an interview with uh Rosario. He said something about doing a rematch whenever J Rock wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Talk about uh, they was going to extend that opportunity, but then he did say something about uh handling the IBF. Mandatory, so. Well, we'll see. I don't know who's. Let me see who they got on the list for the IBF right now at 54. Oh, that dude. That dude. Bakaram. Uh, I don't know who that dude is, bro. But I've heard of him. Bakaram. B-A-C-U-R-I-N? No, B-A-K. B-A-K. I know. I, I never heard of him. Yeah. Yeah, we, 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 we actually did interviews. Look, as soon as I Googled them, one of our interviews came up. Okay. Yeah. I never heard of him. All right, Gado took it down on us. Uh, let's I got O. Yeah, 17 and 0, 13 KOs. Yeah. What do you find out of? Russia. Where, what do you rank in Russia? He's number three in the world in Russia at number 154. Three in the world in yeah, and number 42 in the world on Boxwreck in uh, America. 
His last fight was in Vegas. <laughs> what, 42 in the world? That's bad. That's better than Schwartz <laughs> and, and um, Wileen. What you mean? I mean? Just the fact you said my nigga was number, number three in the world in Russia and number 32 in the world in, in America. That shit is... So wrong. <laughs> no, number three in Russia and number 42 in the world. I know, I know, I know, I know. But the way you said it was just funny. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I mean, he knocked out Edwin Ayala, Elvin Ayala. But that oh, that that, that, was... that took long, man. I, I I mean, this kid did it way quicker, Curtis Elvis Stevens. Preston? No, El Elvin Ayala. And Norberto Gonzalez. I think that the Lubin even knocked him out quicker. Okay, uh -huh. he beat Carcamos, but damn. Carcamos was a, a small dude. I know none of these guys you speak of. Yeah, I mean, listen, the point is he's knocking them dudes out, though, them names I'm speaking of. So the power might be real. What mm -hmm. else he got here on some secondary names? I don't see anything. All right, let's go to Ringa, Rail, New Mexico. What up, Rail? You back? Why you muting me on Skype? Shit, I don't know, but... uh. Shout out TBV, appreciate you having me on the show, man. I just want to say shout out to the Dominican Republican for that upset. Like that's crazy. But um, I like the upset. I'm gonna say why because I want to see J Rock and Tony Harrison fight because we just had Tony Harrison on the show and we was wondering what his comeback fight was gonna be. So I feel like if he beat, you know, what I'm saying J Rock, he'd get a shot at the new champion or another rematch at Charlo or the winner of Rosario Charlo. So I like that little mix of how that is. Um, yeah, and uh, next we was talking about the Coda fight on the chat, and I had said uh, that that fight didn't matter because, uh, and you, I said it didn't matter because they was contenders, and you said that uh, contenders matter too. But I'm just thinking like, all right, you're right, but I just feel like Coda don't matter because he already lost to Lube, he already lost to Charlo. So we, with that being said, is like. I'm not saying contenders don't matter, but it's like we know that that wasn't a championship caliber fight. Yeah, but listen, you know why? You know why that fight was important? Because now he could be Harrison's comeback or Julian Williams' comeback, right? And then he could do it again. What if he upsets Julian this time? What if two knockouts for Julian and a tough fight with Coda is all that it need to be the end? You know, or vice versa for Harrison. What if it's now Harrison? That's I like, it. I, I like, I like Coda Harrison. I like that. I like that. Because yeah. you know, you know, I just want, I just want Harrison to get, you know, back in shape. Really, it's just that he was out the year for a ring, uh, year out the ring, and I know he got rust. That's any athlete being gone for a year. So I just would love him to have like a Coda fight just to get that little juice going again. And then yeah, J Rock, some, maybe J Rock get his rematch while Tony fighting Coda. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely. I love that Cody Harrison fight. Yeah, so, yep. And, uh, uh, Ness, last thing before you cut me, I just wanted to say I went live with a little bit of jump rope and push-ups just so you can see, like, before I ain't got my footage, but I'm working out by myself before I get in camp. But that's another story. But I wanted you to know that. All right, champ. I see you there, shadow boxing. Uh, well, thanks for calling in, bro. We're going out to Boomerang in Seattle. Mr. PBC, baby. BoxingWords.com. I'm the fire. Canelo talking about he believed he can win. Go to my kitchen. Get the sharpest knife. Cut the bullshit out. I don't care what you do good. I do every fucking thing great. Mr. PBC, baby. Mr. PBC, what's the business? Yes, sir, Mike and Ness. What up, champ? Beautiful day in the boxing neighborhood. Um, the Rosario fight was nice, and um, I had it before going in 50-50. Um, I think they had the puncher's chance, and uh, Rosario got it out, and I had Rosario winning. But still was a 50-50 fight. <clears throat> um... Chris God, Colbert, 50, 50 fight, I like for a little here. bit. Huh? Wasn't no goddamn 50-50 fight. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess. But um, Chris Colbert, he was looking cool. Um, it was a beautiful night of boxing. Uh, 
kind of was disappointed with the UFC, but you know it is what it is. Some niggas keep on winning. You still Sometimes. watch though. You still found you a illegal stream huh? to watch. Oh, you already know. <laughs> I was trying to go to the bar, but you know shit happens. But uh, yeah, man, beautiful night of boxing. That's my call. All right, so he was going to the bar, so he paid for the UFC is what he said. Uh, no, nah, he, he was going to go to the bar, but he found a legal stream, and he stayed at home. Maybe his girl didn't want him to go out, you know what I'm saying? Because every time we call him and the fight come on, he'd be at the bar, and she, maybe his girl got mad and said, nigga, don't go to the bar tonight, bro. You go to the bar, I'm going out too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, never know. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. All right, well... Where are we going next? Let's mix in uh mix in some uh CYP again with the boomy. Go for it. Hey CYP, did, did, did you know that Donald Cerrone was ranked number five at one fifty five and Conor Mc, McGregor is ranked number four? Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know all the rankings. I mean they had a girl who was ten and eight ranked number fucking five that fought Holly Holm. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Got to make it up, man. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I hear you, but you shouldn't be knocked so damn, so damn far down that you got to keep making your way up. Like, I don't even want to talk about Cerrone. I said that shit because I know people want to hear that. Let's cut the bullshit. Like, I think Adrian Broner and Conor McGregor are the same dude. They just different colors from different countries. Conor McGregor has losses to dudes that Adrian Broner has beat the fuck out of. You talking about Adrian Broner's losses are two fucking two-time champions, three-division champions, eight-division champions. This nigga Conor McGregor has lost to the dudes that ain't never even been champions. Three of them, as a matter of fact. It's so easier let's, to let's get a belt in boxing than it is in the UFC. Come on, CYP. If they and had four belts in the UFC for the division, Cerrone would be champion too. Hold on, man. Let, let me get... No, no. You crazy. You're crazy. Conor McGregor has lost to dudes that didn't even become pro. He has lost to dudes that will have 10 to 12 losses. Name me a time. Name me anybody in the Asian Hey, man, let, let, me cook, man. Have, have, have let me cook, man. Let me cook. Let me cook. When you're done, you can, you can say whatever you want to say for an hour. Let me finish. If Adrian, if you can find me one person that Adrian Brother will lose to that got 12 or 13 fucking losses, name that motherfucker. Name him. He ain't losing to nobody like that. He ain't losing. He ain't getting stopped or knocked out by nobody like that. Cut the bullshit. Adrian Broner don't get his fucking ass whooped and stopped. And if you do beat him up or do well, you a fucking great fighter. Conor Man, McGregor has lost to him. If they had choking and boxing, nigga, I'm not going to My guy, stop it. Stop it. Stop Who's it. Man, fuck it. Khabib beat the fuck out of Conor McGregor. Khabib beat the fuck out of him. Nate Diaz was beating the fuck out of him. Did he change his back to him? Did he not lose by stopping? Did he not get out of him? You sound like a fool. Conor McGregor got his ass beat. Exactly, nigga. We don't hear this shit. Always makes the bill. No one can hear this today, nigga. Conor beat the last American cowboy. How about that, nigga? Why don't mean shit to me? I mean shit to you, nigga. What that mean to me? A cowboy? He beat the last American cowboy. You know how stupid that sound? It sound good. You know how dumb you just sound? That sound horrible. Everybody knows Cerrone's trash. Cerrone knows he's trash. Everybody knows Cerrone's trash. The fuck you talking about? He ain't trash. Adrian Brody never lose to a fucking Cerrone. Adrian Brody would never lose to a Cerrone. Cut your fucking bullshit. You sound like a fool. Six of them. He did much more. Fuck out of here, man. Done. See why P.I. nigga argue with your sale. Mm. Yeah, I went out of there. Man, I don't know shit about UFC, bro. I just sound good, nigga. The last American Cowboy. Sound, didn't, didn't that sound kind of catchy? He beat the last American Cowboy? I guess. Oh, man. I guess not. I think I, I was working on, on it too hard. I mean, I don't, I don't know nothing about the UFC, man, so I can't get involved. Just like the king is what I mean. I mean, the king is what I mean. I mean. Yo, CBV, what's good, family? What up? Uh, what up, I mean? Yeah, it's hard to follow up that one. CIP always raising hell. <laughs> um, Yo, I don't want to blame J-Rock preparation. I just want to say <laughs> um, he fought the wrong fight. I mean, I think Angel Garcia had said something 
earlier, like in the day or some shit, like about um not want not taking that fight. You know what I'm saying? He would have took another fight if he was uh J Rock coming home, but shit. Shout out to um Jason Rosario, man. Shout out to DR. <laughs> I see somebody post that, yo, he's a typical Dominican fighter. He's shit to bed soon. I say, yo, don't be so uh pessimistic, man, you know? Um I don't know, man. Um the rest of the weekend, like that whole Michael Seals, um, Elder um Alvarez fight, I don't know what the fuck that was about. I don't know what it was for. Um shit, that uh that the Verdejo fight was a little bit more impressive, but um it was even though it was a, a, a good weekend, man, it's still kinda slow, but you know, I'm gonna keep it moving, man. I'm just sitting here watching the Packers game. I know Ness you don't fuck with football. I'm watching my Packers get their ass kicked, so you know what I mean I'm gonna go hang my head. And give me my crow for J Rock before I slide out. Yeah, I'm out, y'all. Just like your Packers, they out too. <laughs> what? Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Mike, terrible. Uh, who we got? Southside Ducey out here racing hell, nigga. This nigga so happy. Bye, bye. Tell the truth, yo. Tell the truth. This portion of the show. We call in the know presented by my brother. Yo, yo, yo. What up, Mike? What up, Ness? What up, what up, Info? What up, Joe? Yo, yo, yo. yo. Uh, first off, man, shout out to the boxing guys, man. This was a decent weekend uh, of fights, man. Uh, you know what, man? That's why they call boxing the theater of the unknown you know what i'm saying sometimes people use the triangle theory sometimes people go off people's last performance sometimes we go for the favorite but as you see we don't know shit until that bell ring that's the beauty about boxing i love that about our sport yo shout out to jason rosario uh shout out to dr yo from the first round i knew this dude wouldn't come in just for a paycheck I rewatched the fight this morning, and uh, uh, J Rock, man, he was, he was, he, I can't name one thing that he did wrong, but just stay in the pocket too long. He was countering over Rosario's jab, and then uh, by the second round, Rosario was countering off his counter, and uh, I think he just got caught, man. Shout out to J Rock, shout out to Philly. I think he a bounce back. I, I have to agree with everybody else. This division is the hottest, man. Uh, nobody, uh, this is his first title defense. I think Heard only had two title defenses before he lost, or was it one? And the same with Charlo, man. This shit is up for grabs. Am I wrong about that? Uh, Absolutely Charlo. right, this shit up for grabs, nigga. Nah, the only yeah, one, the only one that was defending that division was my man, Islandri, never get no credit, Laura. Wow. What you mean doing yeah. what, what, what we were doing? He defended it the longest, I think, man. His yeah. belt was oh, Laura, yeah, man. man. And, and then we got to put him back in the mix, though. He fought but, Yuri uh, Foreman, somebody like that? Yeah, he fought Yuri Foreman once, but he, look at all the other names he man, fought at 54. Yuri Foreman. Come on, man. Bro, he, he, had, he, fought, he defended the belt other than, than just Yuri Foreman. Yeah, he, oh, had, Tariq, a nice, you know, he had a nice reign, man. He had a nice ring. Uh, but uh, I think this, this division is up for grabs, man. Ain't no, nobody. It's almost like the top uh, heavy part of 147. Nobody's really head and shoulders above the rest, man. Anybody can get it. I hope all those guys fight twice, and then we'll know at the end of the day uh, who was the cream of the crop, though. But that's all I got. Oh, shout out to Chris Colbert, man. Uh I wanted to see him let his hands go, but I know he was in there with a style that a uh, guy, he was just as quick, and he had pivots and he had angles as well. But uh, shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to uh, uh, Chris Colbert. That's all I got, family. TBV, hit those thumbs up. Peace. Hey, y'all give that nigga Lord too much credit, man. I'm looking at shit right now. I'm not impressed. Hey, man. You know. Isha Smith? Come on, man. Shout out to Isha, though. 
Shit. Ass, then be but but, but we give this. Lubin credit for Ishe though. Derek in Jersey. Man, Lubin, man, Lubin, Lubin stop the nigga. Uh, shit, he went to U D with the nigga. Yo, what's going on, Ness and Mike? What up, Chan? What up, Big Dog? Yo, what? I was at that it's fight yesterday, legend. man. I was looking for y'all, man. I was hoping y'all was going to be there. Nah, man, we doing uh, we, we we in home for these fights most of the time. Got to be the big ones. Oh, all right. Got you, got you. Yo, it was so catch many people for, upset, uh, man, when J-Rock uh, lost, Danny man. Catch Danny Garcia next weekend, though, for sure. Danny big enough, right? Oh, y'all going to be out there? I don't know. We're going to be able to do a, like a live fight chat for Danny. We're going to be and we're gonna be there now. Would Danny fight that again? Oh, Barclays? okay. Who yeah, he's fighting at the Barclays in New York. Who you fighting again, Ness? Who, who Danny fighting? Ivan Red. Earl Spence? Ivan Red chat. Oh, okay. He Red, was supposed Red. to fight. He was supposed to fight Earl Spence. Earl Spence got in an accident. Okay, okay. I, Ivan then, yeah, okay. Oh. Ivan Drago, you said? Yep. Ivan Drago, cool. Ivan Red chat is actually yeah, grabbing Lobster's everybody. cousin. <laughs> yeah, but everybody got so upset, man. They was throwing water bottles in the ring and everything, man. Oh yeah, and uh, yeah, oh, yeah. I, I I just I like that Julian. It, yeah, it was crazy, you know. At Philly last night. Yeah, and Ennis was there. Yeah, too. you ain't know that. Yeah, it Philly last night, right after he Julian lost, now. they was throwing water Hell bottles yeah. in the ring, oh, and they man, was booing. Philly, come on, man. Yeah, Philly, it was bad, else, man. Bro. That was back to back night, back Dude, to Philly back. Philly don't take no shit. Yeah. They got mad it was at Julian. One more fight after that fight, but everybody left. <laughs> everybody left after J Rock lost. This nigga Gilly finna kill this man uh, this week on Mid Dollar for game. Yeah. And then uh Ennis was there too. And uh Ennis fought last week. I didn't get a chance to say my take on Ennis last week, but I said I want to put my take on Ennis. Ennis I don't think is ready, man. He's not a he's not a top welterweight yet. Um he actually got kind of gassed out and shot his load after the second round. Like after that he was pretty gassed. If that was anybody else at the top welterweight. He pretty much couldn't even keep his hands up after that. He he was getting caught left and right. I think if it was anybody else he was fighting as a top Walter where he had got put down. So I just think he needed a little bit more uh, stamina, like a strength and conditioning coach or something. Other than that, he looked all right. Yeah. And that's my call, y'all. Y'all y'all take it easy. Have a good night, man. Shout out to CBV. Derek, man, thanks for calling in. We're going out to Boomerang. Troy, Baltimore, talk to us. What up, Troy? <laughs> hey, how you doing? How you doing? It was a good fight, man. I don't. I think J Rock was ready and everything. That cut over when he first started. He was just on point and doing his thing. That cut over his eye just took his mind away. It took him off his fight plan. Took him off his rhythm. Took him off his axis. And then from there, he couldn't focus on anything else but the cut on his eye. I mean, he was doing his thing. But his, he was just focused on the cut on his eye. And uh, uh, Rosario saw that, and he stepped it up, and, he, and he, he did what he needed to do to win. So, you know, I don't, I don't see where, you know, J-Rock's a weak fighter or a bum or anything. I don't know, I don't know where these people are getting that from. It's just that, it's just that in this sport, any little thing could, could take your mind off your fight plan and take you off your axis and then things things change for you then. It, 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 as soon as you take a fight as mine, you basically take everything else away from them. I don't care how well you train or anything like that. As soon as your mind is not there, nothing works for you. So, And then uh, what's his brother name at 175? Uh, what's his name again, Nesta, man? You know, the one that uh, won last night. And he beat the Alvarez, pressure. Alvarez, elderly Alvarez. He, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he should get, he should go for his shot against the one you always talk about. Uh, Bell, what's his name? Uh, start with a B. Knockout man with 15 fights and 15 better knockouts. Better be. Better be, right. Nah, nah. Elderly Alvarez got to face yeah. Joe, Joe Smith in the title eliminator. Yeah, don't nobody good. want to see better be. Uh, good, 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 good. Because he uh, will beat Joe Smith. Saint, Saint Long. He would definitely yeah. beat Joe Smith now. Now, Ernest, a real quick question. They were talking to someone yesterday named Larry Hazard during the fight. Do you have any idea who that is? 
New, he's a former New Jersey commission. He was the head of the commission in New Jersey. Somebody who always wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He still wields a lot of power, man. If you ever get a chance to meet him, being that you live in New Jersey, that's a guy that can help move on your show. But as you told me before, you don't want my fucking advice, so you know you don't have to take it. But, but you know, that's a thought for you. Why are you so vulgar? Have a good Troy? night, man. Right, have a good night, little grumpy old man. <laughs> Big If in New York. What it do? What up, Big If? You zero, you zero. Yes, sir. Salute to both of y'all, man. I, I, I fucks with y'all, but I think y'all got to have another show about what you talked about earlier, man, with Mayweather not supporting his fighters, man. That's a big problem, man. Y'all definitely got to have a show about that, man. And uh, salute to both of y'all, man. Haters, man. They, they say we, we too hard on Mayweather. Let him promote Girl Club. Nah, y'all got to go harder on him. Go hard on that dude, man. He got to support his fighters, man. Come on, man. That's not right. Salute. Oh, Maybe that's girl it. Club make him all money. <laughs> that's all you want to say, Big F? I mean, he mad about Floyd, man. Yes, I, hear, I hear you, yeah, I don't like. That. I hear you, man. I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm tired of my man promoting women and shit on his IG rather than Javante. Or... Look at Roly, man. Somebody, somebody else had to do a little Instagram post, like, "Yo, shout out to these prospects," and they threw Roly in there. You know what I mean? Nobody don't even know who Roly is, bro. I mean, this dude terrible sometimes. The Ron Garcia dude. Yeah, there you go, man. That, that you know, and 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 that's not good when that's all they know you by. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. It is what it is. We going to Niagara Falls. Davidian. Love Davidian. Hey, what's going on, Ness? What's good, Mike? Oh, uh, now nah, it was a good um. Good show as always. Everybody be having me cracking up, but uh, it was it was a good uh, weekend of fights. Um, yeah, uh, you can put me down for Crow for the um, you know J Rock and Rosario. I wasn't. I'm like everybody else. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not mad or sad though either. I mean Rosario did his thing, so. <clears throat> But for me, it was just like the second round. I was like, yo, this dude Rosario. This dude Rosario is actually beating up J-Rock. I was like, wow. I was surprised. I'm like, no, the champ. <laughs> and he in his hometown. So I was just like, wow. But he was doing some good things. He was going to the body. So it is what it is. I think J-Rock can bounce back, though. So, you know, ho hopefully, I mean, you probably take the rematch, hopefully. I want to see it again, hopefully. You make some adjustments and see what happens. But, um, yeah, the elderly Alvarez um, versus Seals, that was – I caught that. You know, I caught it when he, you know, he knocked him out. That was crazy. I don't know. I don't, I've never seen that Seals guy before, you know. But, uh, yeah, my man was flattened. And – you know, those ropes kind of saved him because he went down hard. But um, at least he was okay. But, yeah, I mean, that was, that was, that was all right. Um, shout out to Joey Spencer. Um, that was a pretty, that was okay fight. But um, I wish he would have pushed a little bit more. But it is what it is. I follow, I watch him a lot on the PV. They always have him on the PVC. He's a pretty good young prospect, though. So, um, and... Chris Colbert, primetime, whatever you want to call it. He got so many nicknames, but uh, he did his thing. Uh, yeah. Um, and I think lastly, though, for me, like, are people hating on uh, Conor McGregor and all of a sudden uh, what you would call it is, is washed up and he, he broke in and all that? Like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty impressive, though. Like, I wasn't expecting him to fucking, like, with the shoulder – bust his nose up and bust his eye open and shit. I'm like, wow. But, um, yeah, people need to put some respect in that man, Connor. That dude is, I don't know, I like the way that he handles pressure, like, better than anybody. You could say whatever about 229 what it could be, but other than that, he be, he be fucking dudes up. But, um, yeah, that's my call. Y'all have a good night. All right, Davidian. Super chat coming in from Mr. CYP. Skill boxers getting stopped, dropped, and rolled. Daniel Vega comes to one. How come 
Doomy don't do the show no more. Doomy coming back, man. He gonna have a return sooner than, than later. And we got one coming from uh, Marlon So Icy Sims. 154 is wild. Salute to TBV. Follow me at Marlon So Icy Sims on all social media. Uh, we're going to JT in NL. What up, what up, JT in the New Orleans? I don't got too much on the fights. I only saw one fight last night. Um, shout out to Rosario with that win. I didn't expect that win, so I guess I'll take my crow too. Yeah, but uh, um, I guess we underestimated a uh, Rosario on that. You know, the question is, do it Julian Williams got a chin, or do it, do he just got that much power? So we'll see when he step up and fight somebody else, you know, on 154. And that's all I got on it. And shout out to PBB. JT, thanks for calling in. And as always, my Gene Bear, talk to me. My Gene Bear, what's going on? Going once, twice. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Um, still getting over this hangover from from celebration last night. Um, Jason really came through, man. Happy for the guy. Seems like a good person. Uh, you know, repping repping DR. So, uh, you know, we're gonna have the the bus loaded for the bar please for the rematch. Uh, we all heading over there. Uh, but in regards to the whole situation with Floyd, yeah, this guy needs to uh, do something, man. He's bad for the sport. Um, he was great at one point, and now he just seems like he doesn't care about anybody else except for himself. So I would like to hear a, a show, morning show on, on that subject. Be easy, guys. All right, my dear man, thanks for calling in, as always. Uh, we're going out to Boomerang. In motherfuck murder, mayhem last words of the stainless. Told you I would kill you, squeeze that I aim it. If you're talking money, then you're speaking my language. Or well, shut the fuck up and grown folks conversation. I'll be right back. Yo, can y'all hear me? What up, what up, stainless? What up? Hey, sorry, I'm I'm at work getting my ass kicked. Uh, I guess Nashville mad because the Titans lost. Uh, that's why they need to stick with boxing, man. I thought it was gonna be a slow week. I didn't make any picks because I wasn't very sure about Jay Rock, and he did not let me down and got knocked out, man. Uh, I don't really. I'm sorry, I don't really think much of the guy who who beat him up. I know he's Dominican. You can be mad at me if you want, but I'm just being honest. Uh, good, good weekend of boxing though, man. Got a lot of knockouts. I wasn't really expecting, man. Had a, had a good time, man. We actually called each other, had a little, little uh, fight party, uh, across the world. So it was a good time. Uh, like I said, I'm at work though, man. So I'm gonna get back to it. If you listening right now, if you listen to tomorrow, if you listen to next week, please make sure you push the thumbs up and share this in every episode of the boxing voice podcast. This is TBV for life. And if you ain't on Patreon, it's cause you're stupid. Shout out to El Camino. Peace. Colorado, Stone Bone. Yo, yo, what up, Stone Bone? Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, my bad. Yeah, what up, what up, what up? Oh, yeah, man, it was a, a good weekend. And Ness, what's up with uh, Stainless, man? He just disrespected like the only dude that would possibly even come to the Dominican Republic uh, Appreciation Day. He just uh, disrespected him. That Stainless. is true. That is true. My man live out there. We could have had right. something going on. You're right. right. You're right. He might, he might want it to pull up, but he just heard like, damn, your college dismissed me like that. Stainless, man. I expect better from you, man. So next, when you get him on the show, just ignore Stainless question about coming to the party now you know? <laughs> yeah, man, and and i just think he was ready for j-rock he was hungry you know what i mean i i like j-rock i like bread man but man fuck fuck fred man don't be wasting time riding around with this clown man j-rock talking about he tired he want to get back to the hotel 
fuck Sean Fred Philly, man. Get him back to the hotel. Let him relax. And I just think that that cut made him get antsy, and he got caught. He was in there with a bigger, stronger dude that wasn't playing. I mean, that the, the far as size, that's the same size of the person who knocked him out last time. He, that dude is, has the same physique of a, of a uh, Charlo type. Big, strong, wide shoulders, tall. Like that, J-Rock is always going to have a problem with that. I mean, Herd was slow, flat-footed, so it was easy to get on the inside with him. This dude, he hungry, man. You see, he said it's the first time he really just buckled down and did a training camp. So we might be seeing some good things from him. We might, it might, he probably, he might can beat J-Rock again. I got J-Rock as top, one of the top guys in that division for our skills, but fighting that dude with the same mentality, he going to lose again. And that's the same way I felt about her going back up against J-Rock. It's certain guys that, man, they got to do better matchmaking at PBC, man. You can't be letting your guys get these homecoming fights and losing and draws and bad fights, man. Y'all knock Bud for fighting at home, but he come out here to Colorado and do his camp and then come back at home and perform immaculately for his people. So I'm going to catch y'all in the morning. Peace. All right, Stone Bone, thanks for calling in, big homie. Yeah, I mean, look, man, if a hometown fight is an upset, it was a, it was an undercover good fight, you know what I mean? So, uh, didn't we already talk about Ergashev? That was the show box. Come on, yeah, man. There was a body shot. Body <laughs> shot. Benny had my man over there rolling around and shit. Press rewind, champion Jerron in Louisiana. What up, Jerron? To record the fights and watch them this morning. I had to work last night, but I enjoyed it either way. Surprised by the upset. And I can't wait to see where these fighters go from here. And as far as Floyd, he's going to come back. Come back here in boxers. All he wants to fight is UFC fighters. And he calls himself a promoter. He heard what Lair Ali said it was going to take to get her in the ring with Lair Ali, be a promoter, and, and help make that fight happen. That's my song. Yeah, nah, man. Floyd ain't on, and he ain't gonna help that fight because if he was gonna help help Clarissa for being from from Flint and, and, and Michigan, he'd have done that a long time ago when she was in a in the Olympics, and had to practically beg for a retweet that he never even gave her. You know what I mean? So I I never understood why he never signed her and instead signed Savannah Marshall, but I guess it got to do with wins and losses, and it's like, yo, that's the girl that beat you, I guess, but. He eventually. I'm, I'm glad she didn't sign with him too, cause seeing how, how active she been with Salida and shit, I'm glad she didn't sign with Floyd. She, she could be just now getting, you know what I'm saying, out here, but she been out here doing the thing for about two two and a half years now. Every every fight she fought been televised, right? Mm -hmm. Every fight. Mm -hmm. Except the debut, I believe. Nah, debut was televised. By who? I think Showtime or Showbox or something. I think uh -huh. I think every fight she fought has been televised. I wouldn't put it past her. Um, yeah, and you're right. She did the right thing by not signing because, you know, the person that beat her signed and eventually left uh, Mayweather. Savannah Marshall was signed to Mayweather Promotions, and now she's over there with Matchroom and being trained by Peter Fury. So, I don't think I like two, really two fights or three fights since she's been with Matchroom too, both of them knockouts. Mm-hmm. She's on a slow route, though. To be the girl that beat Clarissa, like, she ain't even fought... A no, a common opponent yet. Like, when she gonna get in the ring with Tori Nelson? Tori Nelson gonna be fifty by the time she fight her. Uh, Pat and Bean Town. What up, Pat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all got me. We got you. Uh, yeah, man. It's a beautiful thing when uh. When you think you know what's going to happen for sure, and then the complete opposite happens. Um, shout out to Info Joe and uh, shout out to Killa. All three of us were watching the fight and uh, scoring it. And from the second round on, um, we all knew something was wrong. Uh, I think uh, other than the first round, um, Julian Williams didn't win a round from then on. Um, it looks like Rosario was slipping every one of his shots. And, and uh, Rosario was landing one, two, three, four. Every one of his punches he was throwing, he was connected on uh, J-Rock. And it seemed like J-Rock was missing by even more and more each round. Um, his eye was definitely affecting him. He was wiping it like crazy. 
But um, respect to J-Rock, he, he said after the fight, um, he, the, what, what's his fucking name? Rosario was just the better man on the night. You know, I, I really respect that. He, he said the cut, the cut didn't have anything to do with it. Um, unlike where, um, like Tony Harrison had said that, uh, the year layoff was the reason that he had lost the fight against Charlo instead of just giving Charlo his props, you know, um, for the Chris Colbert fight. Uh, I thought he, he did pretty good. He, he's made a couple adjustments in his style coming forward a little bit more, but still I would have liked to see more punches thrown, especially for being a 130 pounder. Um, we'll have to see what happens with Leo Santa Cruz and Tank. Um, and then the later Alvarez with, I think, uh, a punch that, that could very well end up being a KO of the year at the end of the year. What a great uh, weekend of boxing. And like I said in my call before the fights, when you think you think you might know what's going to happen, you know that's when you got to tune in because that's when something crazy is going to happen. So I'm very happy I tuned in this weekend. And uh, it's uh, it's got my mood up the whole weekend. Just just how great uh, this sport is, you know. Thanks, guys. Totally agree, man. Boxing is the most unpredictable sport out there, bro. Any given night, a motherfucker can have a great training camp. Could motherfucker just get up and just feel it and it's sold and go out there and upset the world. We've seen it last year and we've seen it earlier this year too. Yes, sir. Uh, CYP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me end this. You know, I love this skill box of shit that we promote on this show. I love it. I, I just want to see the dudes win, man. If your skill boxer keep getting his ass whooped, y'all need to stop, start reevaluating this skill shit. Because whether it's Luis Ortiz, Tyson Fury, Charla, um, Harrison, or J-Rock, they getting stopped, dropped, and rolled like baby me tumble dolls down the goddamn stairs. I ain't fucking with them. I like the dudes with will. I'll take will over skill in any sport. Any sport. Because you have to be skilled to be elite. So stop counting that shit. Now the will kicks in. You put that wheel with that skill, that's how you get a fucking champion. All this goddamn skill, 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 styles make fights. Whatever. Call me when this skill just goes out there and wins one of these big fights. Call me after Tyson Fury versus Wilder. And if I'm wrong, I'll apologize. But till then, the king has spoken. <laughs> I'm out. See y'all tomorrow. Stainless boomerang. Ain't standing back at work, big dog. Remember he said yep, he was going yep. back in? All right. Uh, so busy. Let me see. Dom Boomerang. Dom in Seattle. Yo, what's good? Hey, um, you guys talking about uh, Floyd Mayweather and stuff and wanting to do a show about him tomorrow. I kind of don't want to see that. I just want to, you know, hear about boxing and up and coming boxing. You know, what's happening, what's going to happen. You know, I'm not trying to bash. Um... And um, when are we going to have a fight prediction, uh, like upcoming fights and stuff like that? So Every Thursday night. On oh, Thursday night? Okay. Every Thursday I got some night. good every, predictions. Every, every Thursday night there's a fight. We, we, we do a show. I ain't, oh, okay. ain't missed one yet. And you, ain't, and you call in every Thursday and give me your prediction. <laughs> what you smoking on? Yeah. They got some good shit in Seattle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The nigga, he called in, tell me, hey man, I think I think he gonna do this. I ain't watching that fight cause it's on the zone. But yeah, I think he gonna do this. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck you? Hey, talking I know, about? I know. You, I, I, don't worry, I won't ever talk about the zone no more. I see how that shit boils, boils your blood. Um, uh, I was, I like uh, Rosario. I watched two. Um, I watched his uh, fights two days before the big fight, and. Uh, I really like him. I can't wait to see what he's going to do next. I wonder, is J does J-Rock have a rematch clause? Say you know? he do. Okay. I wonder, is he going to put it into effect? And if not, I want to see Rosario do something big. You know? Nah, that's my call. Yeah, man. I, 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 I'm not surprised either, Chase Athletics. Who's Chase Athletics? Is Chase Athletics Siobhan? I forgot who that Chevron, is, man. Chase Chevron, Chevron. Chevron. Big up Chase. But, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not surprised it's his first real training camp either, man. Yeah, yeah, man. He said he was training down uh, with uh, Andre. 
in yeah, Miami. Andra, yeah, Andrade. So Andrade might nigga whoop the shit out of Lil' Kitler here. And shit, Lil' Kitler ain't looking like this. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Shout out Dollar DiBiase on the reminder. Drop us a five-star review on iTunes. We got a couple more that we're going to read pretty soon. We do appreciate it. Uh, I want to thank everybody that tuned in, everybody that called in. We got to everyone except Vito in Malaysia. What up? What up, Vito? Vito. Yeah, what up, what up? Um, it was a um, great weekend for boxing. And um, this uh, my, um, this seal guy, he, what? I mean, what was he doing? Like he was um, like the lightweight, uh, light heavyweight um uh, Floyd Mayweather with the shoulder routine, you know, he didn't let he ha- his hands go, and that was really sad, you know. Yeah, he was trying to counter someone that was faster than him. I mean, come on. Well, uh, anyways, um, Julian Williams, you know, it's really sad. I I really like him, and um, it's sad that he, he lost, but um. But um, yeah, that's that. That's it. Um, I think um, he was too focused on the cut. You know, the immediately he got the cut, he was just uh, more concerned about the cut than what was coming in. And um, if they have, um, if he um, activate the rematch clause, I, I'll suggest that he moves a lot. Probably fights um, Rosario the way AJ fought and the Ruiz because the rematch is going to go the same way if he tries to trade. Oh, uh, that's my call. All right, Vito, big dog. Thanks for calling in, man. We appreciate your call. All right, Vito, man. Thank everybody for calling in. Everybody tuned in. We appreciate everybody. Catch us on the morning show. As always, don't forget you can hit the few. Uh, you can hit the thumbs up. In the future, present, past, doesn't matter. It helps with the visibility of the show. Anytime you're hitting it right now, in the morning, tomorrow, a week from now, it's going to help with the visibility. It's going to help us get more callers from around the world. Um, we actually got another caller right here. Uh, I think this is a uh, new caller. Uh, let me see what you got here. See, let's see. This is Jermaine in New Jersey. What up? Uh, T- uh, TBV, what, uh, what's going on, man? Uh, move Ringer here. So, you know. Wanted to activate my status. Uh, ain't got much to say. Good week in the fights. I'm uh, definitely check y'all in during the week, man. Shout out to y'all. Great job. We got a super check coming in from YY9302010. Ain't saying nothing, just showing love. And thanks for your call, big dog. Damn, he... That was... He, he's, that was uh, he said boomerang, right? I was wondering yeah. who was the Jermaine... Yeah, new new status. Don't forget if you want to, you know what I'm saying, be a boomerang or become a uh, a mastermind or a ringer, you can head over to patreon.com slash the boxing voice and sign up for one of those positions. Now, some of those positions are filled up and they won't come available until somebody uh, uh, deems they don't want the, the position anymore. So you might have to wait, but ringer status, I think, uh, is, is open, right? Ringer's always open. I don't even know, but people done got on everything, really. Okay. Well, uh, shit, that's about it. follow me on IG at Gross1911 or on Twitter at Gross2312. You can follow me on YouTube at Mike Owen Sports. Peace. Peace.